Hello everybody and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will, I'm a D&D sex icon and I'm back today with a full cast and crew of Call of Cthulhu Reign of Terror to rain down some terror upon ourselves and to play some goddamn games. We've got Greg today as our keeper of arcane and eldritch lore. How you doing, Greg? I'm doing well, Will. I am here, I uh, got my wig on, got my game on. That's not your real go out hair. And play. Wow. I thought yeah. you just put a wig on for all of the other shows that looked like, you know, normal hair. Well, I mean, the secret's still kept safely veiled. We'll see. We'll see <laughs> as the years go by what happens to me. But no, we're here. We're playing Reign of Terror. I told everybody in chat just a little bit ago, I think it's time to clear the decks of all these beautiful Nat ones that are currently <laughs> framing the faces of our players. It's time. Let's get rid of those today, guys. We're going to make an active effort to make sure that we that that's today's task absolutely Are you with me chat <sighs> well speaking of getting rid of things we've got mike with us today mike how you doing my friend i'm doing great i'm actually uh i'm in a pretty pretty, pretty good day pretty good day uh i also don't believe that uh, that's not greg's real hair because i've only ever seen him stream in a hat and that hair so the only time i've seen hair mm. is right there so go back sure it is. or on the orient express i did not wear anything i don't believe you that was a wig for sure it's um <laughs> but i am here uh and looking at the number of nat ones next to my name i'm here to die uh this will be my last time playing terry renault and uh we'll see who my next character is uh for the last uh, last few episodes of this campaign and i can't wait <laughs> we're so close mm. to the finish line now it's like this episode and two more we're just gonna live now. <laughs> <laughs> i just gonna live that's, yeah. that's my only goal it's like i don't care what level of sanity i have as long as i live i'm just like i made it my first campaign of Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Great stuff. We also have the Metamancer with us today. How you doing, my friend? Hello, I'm doing well. Hi, guys. I'm Metamancer. I do uh, all sorts of fantastic roleplay stuff, uh, both here and on other people's channels, as well as my own. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing what happens. Uh, I'm not too worried about my life right now, but um, that could change at any moment, given Greg's mood. So I really don't know. Uh, what's going to happen? <laughs> um, You're not worried, you can literally fun. eat our dead bodies to rejuvenate yourself when right. we all die. Yeah, so it's pretty much just fine. I mean, no, you can only do that four times, though. No, I can only do it once a, once a session. Hey, man, I've played Fallout 3. Oh. I uh, Metamask has got, got a right idea. That's why I'm on Team Ghoul as well. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. Uh, we also have Miff Amatic with us today. Miff, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Will? I am well. I, you know what? I'm well. You're Will and well. That's I'm well crazy. and well. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi. I'm playing Etienne Babin. He's a French sapper. Uh, he lost his arm in an explosion. It's the last time I'm going to mention that. Uh, I'm feeling great. My hair's a mess. My chroma key is a mess. But I'm ready to fight demons and the mythos inside French era. Inside France. French people i don't know Perfect. where that was going but nailed it absolutely nailed it that's that's how you that's how you start the show thank god we script all of this uh yeah so we have lots to stick to we also have jules from dungeon drunks with us how you doing jules i'm doing good um it snowed here this morning so i'm experiencing what i believe is called cognitive dissonance uh i i'm not also known as snow i'm not in support of of what's going on outside my window right now. It's April. I don't, I mean, those of you who do live in Canada, I I feel like maybe you guys all have been in need of a hug for your entire lives, because this ain't normal. Uh, yeah, I play I play uh, Joseph slash Martine, who is the best soldier right now, ever, that Sergeant Renault has ever, ever worked with. Um, ever had the pleasure. To... Ever had the pleasure of working with best soldier, most confident. Uh, I think never that's does anything wrong. I yeah. think that's Etienne Babin, no, or no. the other guy. No. And then Dead Michelle. I'm and then sure. <laughs> they're pretty sure Guillaume is like <laughs> so... a better soldier than all of us, and isn't he for the soldier? Yeah. So. <laughs> Who's the other guy that we always forget about, Greg? That guy's up there too. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no. I'm like Du Fromage. I'm like Du Fromage. Yeah, yeah, du Fromage is not a soldier. Barry Potter. What was his name? I... Yeah, he's carried us more than you have. Gary, he's a horseman Gary, of war. Gary Potter, that's the one from last week. Yeah, yeah. great stuff. Gary Potter. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Uh, welcome in, everybody. How you guys doing? Uh, I'll be playing the ghoul that was Michelle Bowman. Uh, Michelle, um, he doesn't have a leg of his own anymore, 
and uh, he's turned into a ghoul. He is super creepy. He likes flesh tapestries. He has a dad who lives in his flesh tapestry, and I'm not going to contextualize that. So uh, it's going to be a good day. If uh, before we dive into today, actually, before we get fucking play into this game, I remind you guys that we are sponsored by D and Dice. To code UK, go over to their website. Get yourself some sexy dice. Uh, keep your eyes out on the uh, Encounter Roleplay Twitter as well for some more giveaways. In fact, I think WonderQuest is doing a giveaway right now for some D&D, so check that out. Uh, and of course, you can interact with today's show. If you didn't know yet, hit the follow button. Join us if you're new to us. And what, when we hit 20 followers, you guys get to decide something which happens next in our campaign. It could be a good thing. It's Call of Cthulhu, so there are no good things. There are only various shades of terrible things. Uh, there is a tweet for you guys as well, 20 retweets, we'll get a viewer decision, and of course, you can donate to a further game by giving players now ones, now twenties, wild magic surges. Uh, currently you guys are writing the cursed item table, so, uh, you can check out that table there and throw out your ideas, uh, to come into effect. Once you've got about 20 or so of them, we'll, we'll make that a thing. Uh, also I want to thank Ozzy, today's 15 pounds to give every player a natural 20. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna need them if, uh... Well, Greg's if Greg's threat is going to come true today, uh, but Greg, I will hand over to you, my friend, to talk us through what happened last week. Okay, my friend. So as we delve back into a week ago to find out what happened in 1794 France, um, really not much, but it was a a a. a satisfying mixture of historical and RP data and real world applications of trivia and biology. Let me uh, delve into that a bit. Um, the investigators agreed to aid Fenelik to obtain the Mad Comp's knowledge. Uh, what Fenelik demanded of them, however, was a fragment of his ancient artifact, the Sedifkar Simulacrum. Um, in addition to that, they obtained a zombie private named Gary that later became a potter in the local village. He's a potter, Gary. Um, Martine received a gift of tentacle eyes that shoot ink. Uh, in addition to game eye knowledge, we also learned a valuable real world eye fact in the milk squirting vein. This caused a rabbit hole effect that took a considerable amount of RP time, but I believe it was worth it because everybody left last week's chat the wiser for it. And everyone accepted that Though Greg seemed crazy at first, much like the greatest minds of any age, they could only agree at the end of the show, he was onto something. Yeah, mm. Will, you're gonna say something? No, I was <laughs> gonna let that heavy silence hang there for a minute. Uh, I think in, what is this, episode like 16 or some nonsense? Uh, I think in 16 episodes, the milk squirting was the most uh, Cthulian horror we've experienced. Was the, oh, the most terrifying man. I, I, I still can't bring myself to make the thumbnail. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I started. Non Euclidean milk was the name of the episode. <laughs> uh, right. Um, uh, the crew also learned that Guillaume could burrow and could also violently assist in the murder of the aforementioned Private Gary. Um, we also found out that Michelle could not burrow, but could finish the murder of the aforementioned Private Gary with a stab to the old milk hole, which, when we go back to our real world knowledge, we will realize was the eye. I'm sorry. Uh, Private I'm just... Gary was brought. Oh my God. I looked <laughs> at my overlay, and behind me are two massive eyes. I'm now already going to fucking spurt milk. <laughs> They're kind of milky we're, too, right? Yeah. That's what I'm um, going to be reminded. We're professional streamers here. Yeah. This is a. <laughs> I'm not. That I'm is who? my fault. You have an excuse. <laughs> I have an excuse. <laughs> um, so, uh, in addition to the murdering of Gary, uh, the benevolence of Chat, uh, Cheris brought him back to serve as the zombie for the group. And in fact, we had a, a, an additional person needed a, a boss monster to come in and help the group. Uh, I believe it was Pun uh, decided to bring that in. And so, Private Gary the zombie was born. Uh, he is now a very successful potter in the city, uh, the village right outside of Comp Fenelik's estate. In addition to that, there was a bit of a scrape that went down, a scrap, if you will, as they were fighting in the subterranean layer of Comp Fenelik and his Sancta Sanctorum as they battled and defeated the previously scarred and burned member of the Third Estate's Triune Army. Um, he was vanquished. There was a heavy fight. Several people were wounded, uh, chief of which was Guillaume and the sergeant, who appear to get wounded in every major conflict they have. 
And they were able to identify, locate, and retrieve the left arm of the set of car simulacrum. They returned it to the asylum where they are now in possession of the item and in front of one Comte Fenelik. And that is where we pick up today's action. Hi, Fenelik. Hello. You're looking nice. Looking good today. How's the asylum treating you? You have obtained the arm. Mm -hmm. We have. We? Oui. You tell us what we want to know first. It's right here, then you have it. A bit of a handful. Don't do not do that. What? I was not, <laughs> I was not making fun of Etienne. That is, makes it worse, I think. Oh, I get it. You, you bastard. Now, so you have offended him. Huh? Enough. We know that there was people that could shoot milk from their eyes. I did, who does not do this. Terrifying thing to learn today. Well, she knows that. <laughs> he probably makes them do it for fun. It is some things that we used to do at one of my parties. We had the milking party every state. <laughs> yeah, we yes, would shoot milk from our eyes. Everyone was given this a dairy, is our dairy squirting room. <laughs> we had a milking party. <laughs> I don't. I can't. Will I have to hand it to you? I did not think that you would be able to bring back the artifact, but you are here, so. Do you see what you have done, Michel? You have made him make hand puns as well. I uh, no, I no think... Come to anything. Let's move away from this subject, please. Stop. I think uh, you are going to tell us uh, what we want to know and then you get the arm. We have it here, but um, tell us first. My, We've done the hard work. My dear, you are in no position to barter. No, actually, if... I think I am. I'm standing here with your little court's arm, so... Then leave. Oh, good. Thing. It, it is not court. We established that. It is no, obscene. it's court. It's court. Oh, she, she we established that because um, the Comte is a basic bitch. It's made of wood. It's yes, you, it's made of wood. Court. Uh, no, obsidian. Now, <clears throat> anyway. It's a real how do we? How do at, we? At this point, at this point, the <laughs> Comte who is stuck in the wheelchair. Uh, all he can do in this moment is roll his eyes to the point where milk squirts out. It, it milk squirts out. That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that's horrific. Oh, oh I turned my shoes. <laughs> Go ahead. Michel, just back, back away. Hey, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't taste bad, actually. It's kind of sweet. Oh, oh. Hmm. Okay. Michel, you do not know where that has been. It came from his I eyes. I mean, I didn't. think the problem is you know where it's been. Well, that is part of the problem, I guess. I think it came from his anyway. eye. So we're holding the arm, and he yeah. wants the arm. Yes. That's what we've established? Yes. Yeah, because okay, we... Perfect. So we Wait, have to get hold the on, arm I have persuasion. It's literally we 30 minutes. I can just persuade. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yeah, no you're going to... Day. You can't do that. Going, going to persuade. Uh, that's in that one. That one. That no! one. No! Oh. Oh. Well, fine, yeah, you don't well, have any more than one C's against me. Yeah. Yep, you have one left. Yep, it's gone. The decks have been swept. Boy, I sure hope you don't get any more nat ones. <laughs> oh, no, darn. I have, I have six. Golly. Just, I'm just, I'm yeah, just gonna not gonna roll. I think you have enough like, for all of us. Yeah, yeah just talk your way at everything and then try um, to do yeah, yeah. rolls. What I time is, do you want my knowledge and my help, or do you wish to prattle on how you ever beat me is beyond me we could yes, prattle for i know a i feel like this is um what's what does they say salt in the wound for you right that is what i say every day i spend with her i know your pain she is Just give me where did you get that glass from we are inside an <laughs> asylum how did you even get it in here I don't know. from my glass flask. hand that's how she keeps <laughs> yeah she keeps a flask inside myth's glass hand that's it it's the hand is a flask. It's, it's not made of glass. It holds glasses inside it of it. It holds glasses. She's it's got, got a, a glass. It's got a compartment got for glass. Flutes. And yeah. when shit gets real, the glass hand comes out. Now, no. Kumt, do we have your word that if we give you this hand, you will tell us the way to defeat Regalt? I have already given you such. But yes, you have my word. Martin's going to sigh and pass the arm over. 
Um, you basically have to put it in his lap, but as soon as you He's place gonna it, drop it in his lap. Yeah, uh, it, as soon as it hits him. and touches down, <laughs> um, you guys hear the popping, a popping sound that is very, very similar or akin to popping one's knuckles, and you see that Fenelik reaches out with his left arm, and it seems to now work as he is sitting in the chair and he picks up the left arm of the set of cards simulacrum and begins to examine it, smiles and places it back in his lap, but his hand never leaves it as if he is caressing it much like a Bond villain would a cat. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take off my uh, wooden hand and I'm gonna hold it like a baby and caress it with my right and hope that something happens. Well, what ends up happening is he nods with a knowing kinship with you, uh, as if you have just joined a very elite fraternity of two. Yeah, like we both have a Jeep Wrangler and we passed on the... On the, on the- <laughs> Dude, that's a thing! That's a thing! Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Jeep Wrangler. Thank you, buddy. Um, exactly. Anyway, <laughs> it's the craziest, weirdest thing. Um <laughs> So anyway, uh, as he's sitting there, he waits for a moment as the arm and the joints in the arm seem to settle. And he says, Regalt has enchanted the blades of the guillotine with sigils designed to offer each head as sacrifice to those that dwell outside. When we're heading the curtain. Outside of outside of, this, outside of this plane of existence, beyond in the cosmos, somewhere towards the center of the universe. Oh. Is that kind of like why you were ripping the skin off of people? No, my dear, I was the one that was stopping it. Oh, I did not know know that ripping the skin off people is what stopping evil looked like. But thank you for that education. My dear, would you rather have the skin ripped off? You can only quote with one pair of hands, <laughs> the skin ripped off of one <laughs> person. <laughs> or would you prefer to have the entire world thrust into darkness? I mean, it looks like a lot more than I like the person. skin. I mean, the skin's yeah, good. You, you can fry it up nice and crispy. Oh, bad. See, he knows what I'm talking about. Finally, is the voice of reason. That, you know, Michelle, that, you've never been called that before. I feel like this is a very triumphant day for you. <laughs> Michelle, One day there will be a place called Kentucky and they will fry their skin. It will be delicious. He grins and he looks like Sid the Sloth even more. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the Comte again rolls his eyes as a trickle of milk takes the corner of the left and he says, When the beheading occurs, The soul is ripped to the center of the universe, to the cosmos, to the throne of Azazoth. Oh, we've seen that, didn't we? Yeah. Ah, you have. There's an onyx guy, Carver. Is this the soulmonger? He, yeah, he points towards... Who's this plot annihilation uh, again? (laughs) (laughs) You really just want us to finish that. (laughs) Don't joke him off, right? (laughs) He's actually Volo in disguise. Shit, you figured me out. (laughs) Fuck, it is me. No. <laughs> uh, um, he points to Guillaume. This one, this one knows. And then he points to Michelle. <gasps> you have both, uh, have you not? We, we, we that, yes. we cool. When each enchanted blade of the guillotine takes a head, the soul is sent to the center of the cosmos. And for a moment, their death wail joins the chorus that echoes the melody of the stars. That memory then returns back where it is bound and encased in a skull marked by Regalt. When 10,000 of these skulls make the trip, Regalt will summon the eye of Azathoth and Paris and the world will be his to command, to shape to his will of madness and to appease his Dark delights. I, I have seen this. I have seen the, the as you say, enchanted uh, guillotine. I have seen the markings on them. When oh, they really? killed, when they killed Malone, I saw them. 
Kill them, hello? And we have all seen the skulls inside the catacombs. There's a lot of them there. Is the same symbol will be on the skulls, two circles inside one another. Is there some like um, all purpose cleaner we can get to uh, fix the guillotine? Why is this one talking? You know, this one's not talking talk anymore. Um, <laughs> why it? does is, is there something that you take the head off a man and you throw it on another man? Oh, yeah, is that a, a normal thing? I don't he know. Is I don't know. <laughs> he has read from the book. Is he just bad at matching? Is, is he? Is, is it like the chapter after the skin ripping? Is the head matching? You didn't it's get that si- far. It's a similar ritual. Uh, ah. So he's make. So what we know is Regalt is taking all his skulls. He's trying to get them for some kind of skull throne, and then Azafoth is gonna sit upon his skulls from with his eye. With his, his eye. And is he just in- an eye, or is it is it more of a like? Metaphor. It is a little really? eye reason flame. Ah, oh, it's, it's, so it's, 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 it's very, milk? it's very token, right? <laughs> more milk. Big more shooty eye milk. Be, yeah, it's demonic milk. Oh dear. Right. Okay, don't want that. We gotta stop that. Molten <laughs> mythos. <laughs> it's milk. Non-Euclidean milk. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like peppered milk. It's very warm. And oh. It's tasteful. What? <laughs> I'm lactose um, intolerant, so I can't have that. I hate this. <gasps> You just licked the milk. Yes, he would be milk. very gassy for that thing. Mm. It will be uh, all about detriment. The end of France. So he's getting the skulls it. from. He's getting the skulls from the guillotine that we were guarding, and that's what's he's happening. He's getting the souls being shipped. He's getting the souls yeah. guillotine, and he's carving yeah. all the 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 heads. Fans on the his heads. And the when they're carved, when he has ten thousand of them, then uh, Azathos shows up. Yeah. yeah. Is it like? Skulls I think or is it like head? Yeah. Because, it's going to take him a while. Because if it's yeah. skulls, he's got to have a guy that's like boiling all the stuff off of him. Well, there's there's plenty of corpses for in the sure, catacombs. Yeah, of sure, but he's got a guy. <laughs> he knows he's got to have a guy, right? Yeah. yeah. I know the a head guy. boiler. He's <laughs> the head boiler, chief head boiler. Because I mean, head otherwise. Head he's in the boiler room. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of people looking for work right now. So, I mean, this is true. He's not wrong. Yeah. He's not wrong. Yeah. So, Maybe we could break his so boiler. That always sets me back a long time, you know. Michelle, is that the metaphor that you didn't mean to make, or...? What? No, I'm being serious. No. My okay. head boiler, I have a head boiler too. He, he boils man and Gam's heads down for us. You know, I, I put them on a the mantelpiece. Nice little bits. You put lent, you put little candles in as well, you know. I, and a nice light. A bit spooky, but... You know, that's sergeant, like up an he's NPC your chat. favorite soldier, not mine. Um... That's my dad. He's my head boiler. He thinks he's boiling cabbages, but they're actually skulls. You know, I heard they don't really smell that much different. <laughs> he's in there. <laughs> Guillaume, Guillaume, my, uh, my wife, she has uh, boiled a roast before, and there's lots of fat that rises to the top. You are uh, very skilled in eating uh, human remains. If you were to boil the head, I assume that the fat would rise to the top like a roast. Where would you put said fat? You make you candles. Yeah, one. you make candles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how foolish of me. Fennel it's taps not, not as good as the beeswax candles, because, I mean, tallow candles, you know, they just drip everywhere. We clearly need to find somewhere that has lots and lots of candles. Perhaps there is a new candle shop, and the candlestick maker is also the head head boiler. <gasps> it is very likely. Oh. He must have minions who is working for Regalt, and we could, uh, you know, slow down this whole process of skull carving, you know, maybe he's got, uh, like, transportation. Maybe he's got his own omelette du fromage. We, like, take over the wagon and, you know, get rid of the skulls what so he doesn't have 10k. Just okay. destroy the, the guillotine. Yeah, I like the... That's the, what I was thinking. Uh, I mean, that seems a bit simple. Guillotine plan. But, right. no, this one's not allowed to talk when she says, let's just... Why don't we just take the blade you? from the guillotine? Let's oh, take right. the blade. What if we take the blade? Take the blade. Take the replace the blade, yes. Oh, Oh, what if we get some sparkle paint and then we paint it with the fake runes? And so when you look at it, it's like, aha, there's the runes, but really no runes. What is sparkle paint? Sparkle paint. Fenelik, just leave. (laughs) Fenelik, you're a vampire. You should know about that. Fenelik's trying to pay attention. (laughs) This new hand. (laughs) Fenelik's just like, uh, I wanted to marry this girl. Why? No, you can make it out of Formica during this time. That's how they made things. Thank you very much so for my new hand. Now I can face Pop. 
need an extra this. I need two hands to kill myself. <laughs> So uh, uh, Martine's gonna leave and just go by pay and execute plan, pretend to be cleaning the guillotine when really you're just removing the stuff, so. You cannot, you cannot destroy the blades. There are three active guillotines in France. He will simply replace them. You might be able to slow him down, but you would be uh, better suited to destroy all of the firearms in France. It is a fool's errand. So we're not able to destroy the guillotine either? Yeah, you said you had a way to stop him. So how are we going to stop him? Yeah. It, it's in the book. The book that what you book? stole from me. I don't know. So well, well, see, I that mean, is the problem is we gave I don't him. read. We gave yeah, him Dion can't books. read. That's very rude. Uh, Listen to Dion me. Said How they, you it, they do not read. They can read. They just don't do it. No, about. I don't know. How are you people? Peter, me, I have no idea. I know, you were distracted. <laughs> it was kind of hilarious. <laughs> it was it's, perfect. It's see, something I had, that I have, I had a great sit- plan I executed, but my right hand man uh, only has one hand, and my left hand man is now dead. So I am left with Joseph Martin Joseph. I am literally a right hand man. That is true. <laughs> it's all you could be, to be fair. Yes. In, a, in that way, that was very good for your career. Yes. And my next best man, he is dead now. You have seen to that. You mm. wove him into a flesh tapestry. Where, where did we put the book? We gave it to Regold? We gave it to Regold. Oh, okay. Yes. I have an idea. Regold. I have an idea. We have you one know, of us so... that volunteer okay. mm-hmm. to uh, be uh, beheaded. All right. Uh, they explore uh, the other side, uh, okay. the, uh, the universe. All right. Uh, they mm-hmm. sing their choir uh, and then they come back and then when before they uh, we paint the runes on the face mm-hmm. we talk to this girl and we get information that way how about that good idea as, as the lowest ranking individual in the room i would vote martin oh i know you would <laughs> oh you know also i'm pretty good at head carving you know i could volunteer and be like hey i'll carve some heads <clears throat> I, I um honestly I don't, if you're I don't going, want to know why you know if that. you're going to murder me um might I put a um, stipulation in perhaps in writing do not let Michelle within 20 feet of my body all right okay. fine he just likes to kiss your mouth you just give him the whole head your body Fenelik, was... Fenelik nods and winks towards Michelle <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think nod. now is a great time to just um, go back to Brittany. <laughs> just <Bye. defect. laughs> That's a great time. At this point, we're going to call it. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, right now, I think we've really come to our, our wits end. <laughs> uh, no, actually, really uh, someone uh, uh, Tom, when you said they were all idiots, you were right. Goodbye. <laughs> Like seven years into this job, we're like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> but typically, I'm Is not it... part of the army no more, so you know, I'm just coming along for the fun. I don't really wish I was a man anymore, so peace. Yeah, by the time we finish, so we should do you, do you wish my help or not? Okay, tell I us, mean, tell yeah, us how we do it then. Tell us, give us. How the... do we get the book? <clears throat> Come on. Um... I, I think we have to get another piece of the armor or whatever for you to. I want no. to get the book. The exact way to defeat Regalt will lie within the Book of the Supreme Void. It is a black leather bound with brass bindings. You've taken it from me. Over the centuries, it has gone by several names. It prefers this one now. Only I could control its power and subdue its influence as I was the only being in creation ever to be able to heal the simulacrum. With my removal, you have released dread forces on the plane. You must find the book, read from it, and discover the means of thwarting Regalt. He okay. will keep it close to him as I did. He would dare not carry it with him as the book is chaos incarnate. It will call to others. It will try to thwart Regalt if it finds someone it deems to be more worthy of its possession. It prefers this, and this is how you must approach it, how you must beg of its aid. For opening its cover, it is not like the books that you find in the libraries. 
And again, he looks over at Michelle and kind of wings. Oh, I agree. Jibian. It is a vessel for a being. If it decides to help you, if you can convince it that ruining the plans of Regalt is more beneficial to its chaotic nature, it will do so. But it will charge a price. Inside its pages, you shall find the means to thwart Regalt's quest for power. If only you had let me keep it. Um, Comf, may I point one little tiny thing out? Remember when um, you told me all of these people were idiots, and I said, no, Babin's actually not that bad. Um, and I'm the worst, actually. No, you're great, Babin. You keep all the booze on, literally on hand for us. So it's he fine. is the worst. Um, and I said, well, you know, just tell me your plan. Give me the elevator pitch. And if you had said, hey, um, all this like skin ripping, not really going to happen for that much. If you had like told me your plan, we might not have stolen that book from you. Um, so I know you're a little bit, mm, what is the word, butthurt about that, but you did have the opportunity to just explain yourself. And instead you just me and threw me against the wall. Wait. Um, so I would say you brought all of this on yourself. I don't know how it was brought on me. I don't know how you've beaten me. I don't know why I'm sitting in this chair having to listen to any of this, but fate has decided that I am to be here, so I will aid you. You know, life finds However, a way. It, you know, it, it happens. It, it does. Like the life dinosaurs. Needs, needs to live, yes. Um, if Regalt still lives in the same rooms that he had taken in Paris the years when I knew him, you must watch him as you watched me. If these apartments are still the same, he warded them even before he had my knowledge. I can only assume that he has augmented these protections with the artifacts that you have bestowed upon him. You must watch before you try to enter. Now, with these wards, and he reaches down and strokes again the arm that's in his lap. I could be convinced to help you with these symbols of power that he probably has around his place. I can help you breach them, but you will need to do something else for me. Oh, here it comes. I hesitate to even ask because I'm scared that you'll start talking again. All of you will just start talking again, and I can only plug one ear. <laughs> what is it that you ask of us? To get you the second hand and you can plug the second ear? No, you do not have to leave this asylum. Great. At I the opposite end of this hallway, there is a distasteful man. I require him. What does he taste like? I have not had the pleasure of tasting him, but I would require his essence if I am toward you, because an evil man has used the Book of the Supreme Void. We need one of equal carnal knowledge in which to protect you from regalt. He is at the far ends of the hall. His name is the Marquis de Sade. All you need to do is follow the music and bring him to me. Okay. Is it the little guy? Hey, man. So, uh, here, one, one moment. Let me step back. Uh, uh, team model. Team model. Okay. <laughs> team model. Yes. All right, so uh, we have to go get there. Uh, I believe this uh, Marquis de Ta is uh, he's the little guy with the violin. The little fiddle. <laughs> oh, he's, is it, he doesn't like the Fenlick. He doesn't like, I mean, he likes us, so. Sort of. <laughs> Fenlick says from outside the huddle, no, that is the wrong person. You're thinking of Dietrich Zahn. Oh, Dietrich Zahn. I said yes. Marquis How is he? Zahn. Oh, hide, hide. 
Okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. Um, uh, uh, outside of the huddle, thank you. Wait, um, hold on. Wait. I think I know yeah. who that actually was. <laughs> Yes, the Marquis de Sade is an actual person who uh, reviled throughout France, especially before the revolution. He uh, he has written such wonderful tomes as 120 Days of Sodom. Um, he was run out of several countries for, uh, let's just say, being very aggressive with the local prostitute population. Um, he perfected many interesting techniques in the boudoir. Uh, many of which were highly fucking illegal. Um, he wrote about them in Literally. books. Yeah. And uh, is the father of the... Uh, I guess you could say he is the father of Fifty Shades of Grey. The daddy, is, the daddy the, of Fifty the Shades of Grey. The father of the menage a toi. Right. Well, he's more like Another a... Guy. Ma, menage yeah. a ten. Menage a vent or something. God, and he was not Menagerie. a handsome fellow. I don't know how sex he could have been. So, question is again. would we as characters in this time period know who he is? Oh, I think probably. Yeah, there's his picture up in Roll 20. Um, yes, I mean, you would have heard about it. him. Uh, in fact, it, it, there's no role required for this. Even Guillaume and uh, Michel would have known about him because he was a almost a celebrity in many ways because he was reviled before the revolution. He was kind of promoted after the revolution for a brief period of time as his behavior before the revolution was deemed to be just a citizen that was, you know, held down by the nobility and held down by the, uh, the rules of religious society. Right. And, um, but then they all realized even the third estate, this motherfucker was crazy and in a very barbaric very savage way Literally. and um yeah he he was he preferred like whips dips chains all that good stuff you know, candle wax on the nipples head boiling. yeah he was yeah, yeah well head boiling was kind of a uh he never really got into it was a term <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was a, yeah. right he a thought face. about minoring in it but then he just didn't do that and he just decided right. to focus a like, double major you know i think he took it out of context that's actually really what happened he thought it was one thing, oh, shit. but it meant He's another. The reason they stormed the Bastille. Yeah, he, and he he lost his original manuscript for his like uh, multi-page dissertation on sodomy, and was very d upset about that when the Bastille was burned. So we have to follow the music to to find him, and I'm really wait, worried about what that is. Wait, um, Comps, what do you mean by essence? He's going to kill him. His eye milk, clearly. Yes. I mean, asking. like, are we going to trap his soul in something that you just have laying around in here? Do you care? I'm. Is a, is a no, honestly, question. morality is oh. a little bit um, co not questionable at this point. So, um, no, I just want to know that it's not going to be sticky. I cannot promise this. Oh, great. Right. Let's go so get the essence. Over there. Yeah. And like, I'm, I'm still holding the arm. <laughs> and you see pointing? like, when, when I, po I point, I'm actually pointing the arm that I have in my arm. And it happens to be doing an index finger, but you know, none of you realize how that happened. But. <laughs> 79? Because it was off screen, it can change. So <laughs> it's bowing up into it's like like a cat. It's leaning into the the petting. Right. Yeah. I, I like I stroke it and it goes. <laughs> uh, and thank you to the yes. two. Do it's ten pounds to give me two wild magic surges. God damn it! Let's... <laughs> give you two wild magic surges. Yeah. She'll just okay, so we'll say this is the proximity to the simulacrum. It's all of the winks that he's been sending my way. Mm -hmm. Right, each one. Lots yeah. of wings. Anyone that looks into my ears suffers intense vertigo. There's a true fact in real um, life as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 5802. I have a compartment in my torso which is able to carry small items. 
<gasps> this is true because it probably isn't Michelle's torso. He's like attached someone else's torso in and like kind of is there? slides over. Or it's just your torso that you can just like open up a piece of it. And, like, yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, very, <laughs> very Dragonheart style. Yeah, is there yeah. a little yeah. door with a little <laughs> handle? I've gone to join the stars, Draco. Oh, I've my heart to keep you whole. Bowen. It's gone to join the stars. I must follow the knight's code. Like, what a great movie. Uh, what a great movie that was. Can we, let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. And the villain was fucking, uh, <laughs> what's his name from Harry Potter? Yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah. He's a very, very young Luke. What's his name? Lupin? Lupin. Whoa. Yeah, right, from Harry Lupin. Potter. Yeah. Remus Lupin. Remus Lupin, yeah. Yeah, wow. <sighs> Good times. All right, we, yes. go, we go get this. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> We'll say that uh, for this uh, little thing, one of the wounds that you suffered um, before you were able to become a ghoul never quite healed all the way, but there is a nice little, like, a flap of flesh. So you can kind mm, of, like a Ziploc bag. Flap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just kind of unseal it, tuck something in there, about the size of an orange, mm -hmm. and then you can kind of seal yourself back up. Yeah. It's nice. You have to keep it clean, though. Yeah, of course. I mean, otherwise you're, you're a marsupi ghoul. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. We we went from such That's a high upon from Dragonheart right back down. No, <laughs> I'm not. It's all about balance. <laughs> Ying and fucking Yang. Yeah, here I am. Well, I'm gonna Ming and Yang. I'm gonna pop something into my. Uh... Actually, I'm pretty. I'm gonna pop something out. I'm gonna go. <laughs> gonna fold it back. Take out one of my. Uh, I'll give an orange in there. Actually, no, I pretty keep saying like meaty. So it's something humanoid, like a hand or something they can nibble on. Yeah, finger food. Uh, and just, you know, have a little nibble on that. So now you just have food in there, you power gamer? Yeah. You didn't have it before, but now you just do? Mm hmm. I mean, it's okay. part of my backstory. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> he likes the snack. <laughs> <laughs> Those also, are my wow. dad's fingers. Also, every time I, I eat, yep. I get plus Boy. five my strength, so. <laughs> right. Every time. I regain sanity for every orange slice. <laughs> so, okay, so yeah. uh, uh, Fenelik has told you that at the end of this hallway, uh, if you follow the music, you will come across the cell of the Marquis de Sade. And if you bring Fenelik, the Marquis de Sade, he will help you by using the Mar Marquis de Sade's essence to create some type of ritual spell ward to help you in your infiltration, presumably, of Regalt's home. I say we do it. Michelle says do we it. do it. Well, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Um, but we have to go get the book, right? The uh, the, the book of yeah. unspoken Evil. universe or something? We have to get uh, the Marquis. The book of the Supreme <laughs> Void is, a, is presumably also so in said. or around right you did i my my apologies you are around the uh home of regalt so to infiltrate that if fenelik is even telling you the truth um when fenelik was able to roam around and not shattered in the basement of an asylum he knew that the uh dr regalt's apartments were warded and protected against any type of intrusion he's saying that if that's still the case or if he's even augmented these type of protections Giving him the essence of the Marquis de Sade will enable him to concoct some type of anti-ward that will be able to get you guys in where you need to be. Perfect. Yep, That's we good. do all of that just like you yeah. say. Uh, so yeah. skip forward to the bit where we've defeated the Regal. We're at the end. Yep. yep. Okay, so yeah. the Marquis de Sade is being brought back in chains now. You guys <laughs> <laughs> Let's just play it out. We don't know what the dice are going to say. So, well, all right. So, um, just that ones for days. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We know. Well, I got. A, we got a bunch of nat twenties. So we'll just, just do that. Uh, so you said the end of the hall. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna start listening to music. Like I'm gonna put my ear out. I guess and let it perk up. And I'm gonna use my uh, my my very canine like uh, hearing and try to hear some music. Yeah, I guess. Listen your, to it. Uh, it did. Use your upper hand. Can Roll it. Listen check three. for me. You got it. Uh, listen. Nailed it. All oh, right. I'm also horrible at listening. I've got horrible ears. None of us are good at listening. This actually is on par. My value is 20, so I got really crappy. 
Really no, so is mine. Mine's really bad. I am I am actually pretty good at this one. I did. Don't okay, become a so sergeant for nothing. Guillaume and the sergeant, you all are able to, as you kind of quiet, um, you remember that when you entered down this way before, you did not hear any music, but now that you kind of focus on it, you can hear a violin playing. And it seems to be in the distance, in the direction that uh, Comp Fenelik has mentioned. Do you hear that? I do, Guillaume. It is uh, some kind of music. Some violin? Yes. I guess that's where, is that where we go? Good. Does this man play violin? Or a small cello? Or a I tiny don't cello? Know what he, he is a vile, disgusting person. Perhaps a, an elaborate ukulele of some kind. It does not sound like a ukulele. Okay, well, he puts the you, violin, could, violin. you could pluck the violin. And you don't have to play with the bow. You don't know what this is. Anyway, I think I have raid, Bridget, my friend. This way. I will. Well, I guess so. I will be right behind you. And he begins to push the wheelchair, but can only go around in a circle. I'm coming. <laughs> as, as much as I enjoy watching this spectacle that you are making of yourself, having been defeated by myself and two and a half idiots, uh, <laughs> I, I, you should probably just stay here. I think that will be better for both of us. <sighs> Perhaps you're right. I will wait here. Guillaume, I did not include you in the two and a half. You're fine. It's fine. I'm like two and a half plus. You are, you've done well. You rise about. So you had two and a half, and I am another two and a half. You like the fat you're your own toy you like of the head. You rise to the top. You like the, the fat of the head. Right. Like very Randy Savage type I stuff. Don't, don't <laughs> anyway, this way. Do some music. <laughs> I'm hungry now. The fat always rises to the top. <laughs> Every what time is Bill, this? <laughs> the macho gets the belt. Right. What is happening? <laughs> let's go this way. I hear music. Uh, All right, let's follow him. I can't hear shit. Uh, yeah. I, can't I have found the, the plot violin is this way. Ah. Oh. The plot violin. The violin. <laughs> yeah, follow the plot violin. All right. Um, as you guys go down, you you hear a violin as you're moving down the hallway. Um, after about ten paces, you hear a flute begin to accompany the violin. Uh, ten, twenty more, you hear a piano, and as you're getting closer, several other additional instruments kind of blend in until it's almost a symphony sound is beginning to come from this room at the exact opposite end of this long hallway which only has two rooms apparently Fenelix, long hallway and this other room and you see light pouring out it appears the door is open on this cell mm -hmm. yeah, i was gonna just barge in hello yeah the sergeant follows him in yeah i guess we go no, Martin's gonna wait in the doorway. He he plays musical flute. How can how difficult can you be? I want to go and see the violin man. You do that. Well, how do we know it's in here? It's, it's the only room. I think we all hear it now, right? This is, this is the end of the hallway. Yeah, you guys right. can. As the closer right, you get, right, those right. of you that failed the uh, listen check, you can in fact hear the symphony as you guys get closer. It just takes a closer proximity before you're able to start to d differentiate all the the music and whatnot. Except for Etienne, and, he still hears the violin. <laughs> right, because he's, <laughs> he's right on the outskirts now. <laughs> um, as you all walk in, as Guillaume has said, Guillaume walks right in. You see a very plush, a finely decorated living quarters very much like a, a sitting room would have been um similar in decoration and shape size configuration to what you all experienced at versailles when you met with milan and regalt uh there are you know lounges and padded chairs there's portraits on the wall and one of the portraits that is being admired by the sole occupant of the room um appears to be the sole occupant of the room in a very heroic knee up 
Captain Morgan type of pose. And as this lone gentleman is sitting there in a perfect purple suit with ruffles coming out of, out of the chest and around the, the, the wrists, he has a glass of what looks like some type of Merlot as he slowly kind of swirls it, pausing every, every so often uh, to sniff and then go back to swirling it. And as soon as you all walk in, his eyes open and he goes, ah, visitors and calmly ones at that. I like him. Like, Hello. I believe we are here for the menage a trois. Ooh. The menage a trois. Well. Okay, what have I done? Oh, <laughs> my friend is going to say that Dorian enjoy this. My my friend Martin here outside. She has very good experience with the menage a trois. Oh, she no, no, no! Wait, wait! Let me one see. One time no. she commanded us as animals. She seems to be a ringleader of some kind. Yes, it was a menagerie. No. <laughs> I'll never he looks. His his eyes are locked on the sergeant. No, no, I I like you with your. Barrel chest and barrel tongue. Yes, I have a wife. I have kissed her twice. Oh, yeah. I have two children. Let's see if that's the case. Why don't you show me what you have for this menage a trois? Oh, I have uh, this. Uh, this Martin. I brought her as an uh, offering to you. Martin. No, no, no. <clears throat> Martin, I need your assistance. Please. Oh, no. no. I think he likes you, Sergeant. Okay. He, after all, yes. do outrank me. So, I mean. This is true. He's yes. kissed his wife you, twice. You Yes. Michelle, you're not helping right now. Ooh, he's going to kiss me more than twice. No, no, I will, not. I will do no, none of this thing that you say. It is terrible what you say. I don't this know that. Is the You'd like me to punch him in the face? I no, think it's, I, I, I almost, I, I'm more likely I want to punch him myself, but you want to close second, uh, Guillaume. Guillaume, you come sit by me. This is going to be fun. We have popcorn <clears throat> and Etsy and- I'm hungry. Well, this is a man you could eat. Uh, Michelle, are you hungry as well? We did no, talk a lot about head. I am quite hungry. Yes, mm-hmm. Sergeant, I believe you are turning his question into a baguette. <clears throat> <laughs> I like you too. It's a shame you don't have two hands. Now, you, hairy old man. Who is this hairy old man? Me? Oh. We look around for and a hairy old man. In the I am a strapping the young gentleman. I have two children. They are lovely. What do you say? Gross. Um, as he's talking, the music seems to be accompanying his mood. You don't know where it's coming from, but it seems to be rising and falling with the different expressions that, or physical <laughs> attributes <laughs> that rock. Right. <laughs> just, it's a lot of worse on yourself. Lot of horn, <laughs> This is a real 70s vibe. 1870. That, that cocktail on. music I used for made of. Here we go. <laughs> then his his um, you know his his breeches surprisingly look like a leisure suit. Right? Why are you here? Once we are. Um, Would you all care for some wine? I believe um, two of my friends are hungry, and uh, as Etienne said, you something about the croissant and baguette. Oh boy. Okay. I am a fan of both. Also, Shall we? Yes. I also Jimmy. like I also like croissant with a little bit of butter on top. Wait. Oh, it's the butter that's the best. Sometimes part. you make it into a sandwich. There are many uses for the butter. You can, you know, you yes. can slip it on top. You can put it in the middle. You can, you know, put it yes. in the oven. It like melts down or nice. It gets everywhere, doesn't it? Butter gets everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wait. No, not that you, just you why would a, you put? No, you just put a use big, a knife. You put it on top. You spread it. No, 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 no. Peter, Peter, this is my favorite game. Put a big block of it on the door wait, handle. Why would you wait, put wait, one no, on the door handle? The and then, you know, then people can't open it, get all slippery, you know? They try and get in yeah. when you're trying to do stuff, you know? <laughs> what? Slip away? <laughs> that is a good plan, Michelle. I, you are my best soldier. No. Michelle, I believe he's talking about your leg. He likes it. Yeah. Big leg. <laughs> His name oh, is Michelle. Hello, Don't yeah. be Top. You can Top. call him Big Leg. <laughs> Michelle, put some Top. butter on that leg. <laughs> You be him? quiet. Where are you even getting butter from? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mar- Martin, I don't know where you have this butter from. You pull a glass flask out of nowhere, you pull out butter. I don't, I have. I think Etienne keeps it in his hand. He keeps the butter. I have a little compartment. Well, you know, if you, you know, if you melt it down, you could squirt it out your eye, you know? 
Cool. <laughs> right, that's right. You are all saying things that separately don't seem to make any sense, but together I'm liking every thought of this squirting and compartments where you can put things. <laughs> Michel, what can you tell him about your have... compartment when you have the food inside? Oh, yeah, I've got one here. I open up my chest. <laughs> there you go. And I get, <gasps> I get out some butter from inside. <gasps> what is that? The dry you ice. Have a... just, dry ice just comes out from my I chest. I don't want to kill this guy. This guy's I great. <laughs> you you, you have really a really fresh butter. Hole? Wait, it's, it's unsalted. It's what kind of butter is it? Is that the man butter? It's the uh, we. It's, it's, yeah. We. Mandarin. I got, I got the baby butter as well. Bitch, why are you all talking? This, this one. He looks at uh, Michelle. You have another, another place. Let me see that again. Just Slowly. Just take a look in if you want. Slowly. I like. <sighs> it's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, I'm hey, blessed well. today. I am. Oh, no one's ever said that before about this. Try looking inside of his ears, I hear they are great as well. I go, I go, have a look in here. I must pace myself. All of this is so, so exciting and so fascinating. Now, why are you here and why is everyone still wearing things? We should not be wearing anything. <laughs> he starts unbuttoning his suit jacket. This guy's so much. What, what are we doing? Let me shake out of this son of a bitch. I'm sitting down. I don't even do this. Oh now, now, what shall we do? Um, should we all split up and maybe three of us on this side and three of us on that side and we just run and where things go, they go. Like I rode you over. I think you should yeah, butter like, over. I forgot why we came here, honestly. So nice. Very <laughs> right, why are you here? All right, we, we came here to collect your essence. Um, uh, oh! So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You're lucky that I have saved it. I have not collected my own essence in at least three days. <laughs> it's going to be an eruption. Oh, you'll get plenty of essence from me. I told you this would be sticky. Greg, you can't derail your own campaign. <laughs> That's our job. I feel like this is our punishment for yeah. literally everything. All right. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know how much longer I can keep up this accent of energy, but let's do something soon. At the end, I dare to ask at the end, but do you have a hand for this? I do not. Oh, uh, but yeah. I believe the best pouch would be maybe. Um, uh, Michel, a good friend, Michel. Yeah. Yes. Good. I don't have enough room. I'm already yeah, yeah, holding yeah. a goblet you, in my hand. You could, I don't. have a flintlock pistol. You could put I, your I, essence I, in here, and I can like open up the. Whole. I, you put it in there. I think I think these words inside my head, but I feel what happens when I say them is. Could you please deposit your essence inside my friend, Michel? Yeah, you just pop right in here if you got it. As long as it's consenting, Michel seems really gung ho, and um, they yeah, are yeah. two consenting adults. Uh, I I appreciate your your need to have everything in one place, but I can assure you that it's going to be goddamn everywhere. I mean, there's well, if no... You could, if you could try to keep it in as, as much of a container as something. possible. <laughs> it's it's Perhaps going to on the baguette. be bigness. Everywhere. Perhaps on, on, on a croissant instead of butter. I'm so excited. Essence of croissant. <laughs> Talk about butter all this time. I'm... <laughs> Bursting! I don't know if you've seen it, but it, you should see it. You, maybe you, would you like to see it? No. Um, but the sergeant all, was. I, I think I think <laughs> I, I I think that we should I leave you see. alone with Michelle. Deposit your essence inside of him. Um, Where I, are you I, going? I will wait. I will wait outside. I would like to give you some privacy. This is an intimate moment between two consenting gentlemen. I think this isn't confession. I mean, this more than again. It's like okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think, no, my wife would not like, she would not approve no, of this. No, she'd love it, you should be nope. more sex positive. Just, you should that bring her not in, true. you know? Boy, what's my sex? It, it, in fact, this is a great idea. I will, you know what, I, I, Michelle, that is why you are my best soldier. You, you, uh, are you four, three, you four, you four, you stay here, 
and I will go retrieve my wife and add one more to the mix. She will love this. I will be back. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, I do what you do with that. No, you should stay. Martine's going to block the door. <laughs> the sergeant is considerably larger than you. <laughs> Don't worry. It's fine. I've got some, I've got a lot Gio more. Gio is now. helping. Lock the door. <laughs> I like, 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 like All the naked men. <laughs> you, you notice that there's, yes. a, there's, a, there's a huge block of butter on, butter on the door handle right now. <laughs> the door's open, Michelle. <laughs> you just put it there. <laughs> 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 oh my lord. Uh, is someone gonna, you know, we came here to, you know, guys, guys, we gotta get it to kill him, right? Are you guys in a huddle? Yes, we're in a team yeah. huddle. Um, this, led is by pre, this is the pre-game huddle. <laughs> uh, I don't think we actually have to kill him. We just bring him back down the hallway. Oh, he get him coming fast. Oh, okay. Oh, right, hey, why don't why don't we all go down? We got we got better as, space as than you break the huddle, you re- As soon as you break the huddle, you realize the Marquis de Sade is in it with you. What is it? Do we do start doing? Do we rub sideways, or do we like manipulate the person to our left, to our right? Let's let's tell me. Let's the sergeant is on both sides. Don't be stroking, stroking my hand, and I can't notice. I'm uncomfortable. I didn't know what I was standing up for. Uh, come over That's here. Good. We we down this here, down here. We've got all lots of um, things. You know, more butter and uh, products. Oh no. The so rest of this place. The, oh, wait, the, what if I what if I tell you that there is a man with three hands? Describes this man. One of the hands is very attractive. He has piercing blue eyes, three hands. Dead fish, though. More importantly, he has three hands and a built in chair for you to sit upon. Oh, Jesus, you mean Fenelik. Damn it. I've had my way with him for the past five years. Bored of him. Oh. Uh, That's really. Really? You have? Do tell. What was that like? I would like to hear. I would yes, like to hear can this. Can we story. have details? The sergeant likes it when you talk dirty. Tell you what, I will. Sit, I will sit down. You will stand where you are and don't touch me. Uh, and I will stay here in this room while you regale me with details of this man, of what you have done to him. I never kiss and tell, especially with an ex. Could you? He's, what have you? We did live in the same block, so to speak. I can't get away from him. He keeps following me around, calling for me. And he drives you know, on my block. Him. He's <laughs> literally been trying for five years to get his essence, and he's just like, no! <laughs> Please. It's just my Please. essence. Get out of here. I've been it's trying hard to get years. for five years. Yeah. Um, You're not see? Get away from me. Would you say he is very thirsty? Is that the term? Is he thirsty? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does well, not... He, he, he can't handle my vintage, if you know what I mean. Yes. It's my penis. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I have a oh, husband, and we've good more than twice. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I heard word tell that he, counter roleplay does not monetize <laughs> YouTube. So I can see. This is literally as why much we're as I free. <laughs> this is Greg is the reason why. <laughs> Greg has been waiting for this. Because he whispers into the mic, my penis. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Encounter doesn't monetize this. There we go, you can support us on Patreon. Because I'm going to be starving this Greg's a reason as a Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. We're we'll be eating this month because of this, so uh, just... <laughs> yeah, guys, donate, please. <laughs> Listen, Will will uh, tell me... $20 what for every time that. Greg says penis. <laughs> I don't know a word yet. <laughs> penis. As much as I wish. Oh, Can boy. someone make that what just happened into a gif? Because <laughs> Greg's eyes bulging as he goes, penis. <sighs> How do we... I don't want to kill this guy or get an yeah. essence drained from him. I just want to keep having this conversation. No, I think we. I think the sergeant's going to drain the essence. Wait. That's, yeah. He's, he's the no. best of us. It is not true. He was the best soldier sergeant. You I am the best. Have one now. I, I was if the best you know soldier. They say if you want something done right, you must do it yourself. Well, see, you all seem opposed to the uh, the act of uh, draining one's essence. I like I'm not. Of, uh, I'm ready. Oh. Let's oh. drain your essence. No, please oh, do not touch me. Don't, enough for don't, me to hear. don't touch me. Perhaps we just need a little I, bit of blood. Not even just, just a little. I, I, my I like how you think. Yeah. I don't like. No, just what a little. We try a little. Uh, wait, yes. I, I bring it back to Benelik, and then if he says no, then, well, then we kill him. Yes. I Who is best at drawing blood? Take the blood. You are good at this. 
just less blood. Do you, than do you need all your fingers? I could just take one. Yes, yes, less than Gary. We did. Is this a, is this a thing? Yes. Have you ever had a finger bitten off? Yeah, before? I'm just really into it. Oh, we've been, we spent a lot of time down in the catacombs, you know, and uh, can recommend. And that's this why I don't have any of my own fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look, uh, hello, hello, and I show my, my. I have a dead man's hand <laughs> on my hands instead. I have two dead man's hands. Guillaume has. Bonjour, <laughs> look at my arm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Guillaume has Harry, consumed wait, wait. so many men. What? Let me see. Let me so see your hands again. On I don't like hand. the way you say this. I don't like it. How you? How you say? I, I do. <laughs> uh, uh, as I as I said, uh, Guillaume has consumed so many men before in his life uh, that perhaps. And do we mean? Them? Also, women consume them. Right, right. Oh, yes. I like that. It's nice. I think I've consumed plenty. Oh, did I say that I did? Well, Look like this. <laughs> so, think, um, Etienne, do you have your um, do you have your um, vile hands? The one with the stopper. We can put. Yeah, I only have one with it. Sounds evil. What is it like? Oh, it's it's the, unfortunately, uh, it's pretty vile. Yeah. So, it's a small violin attached to my forearm. So a little bit of blood at the whole finger. A little bit of blood at first. A waste not want not. Okay. That's disappointing, but okay. Waste. Oh. No, I, I think I think you should take as much as you think you need. Just take a, a whole like a I just need a snack too, so you Yes, know. you take whatever you like. What May I bite your finger thing? off? Yeah. Well wait a minute. All of this is biting. We don't bite yet. We have to Get everything slicked up, and then we start using our mouths and traps. And no, I, I think this is uh, how you say, Martin. How you say foreplay? This is what you call it? Yes. Okay. Um. No. Biting. Biting. No. 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 Biting. You call it foreplay? No. No. This is foreplay. And he snaps his fingers, and I'd like everyone to roll a power check for me. Oh please. Lord Almighty! Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna spend. Oh that. wait a minute! You all get now. I just spent that sort of. I just spent that sort of. Hey. Failed anyway. Yes. Oh, hold on, not me. That's true. Right, the only person that can roll this. Oh, that's hard to see what I would get. Oh, yes. Okay, Perfect. so as soon as the Marquis decides, snaps his fingers, everyone but Martine, with the exception of Guillaume, who's already. Well, they actually, no. Guillaume's you called it up. first. Just want to <laughs> point that out there. Would I call what foot first? What? What? That I got crit fail. But uh, yes. it's okay. You know. I took the well. No, you, you failed anyway, correct? Yeah, so I was like, I failed anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Right. So I, yeah, that's right. right. I, the crit fail is used on you, so don't worry. Yes. Oh yeah. Right, I'll tell my crit one. How you win the game? You purposely right. fail your role. You're right. You purposely right. fail your <laughs> sex role. Admit, admit. I don't want to do it. Who oh, no, Let me roll to get out of it. <laughs> oh, totally fun, guys. I'm a I, ghoul. I accept my fate. Oh no! What a shame. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Uh, I told you guys okay, so everybody but Martin, everybody but Joseph starts to take off their clothes. Nice. I have no clothes. I, Winning! I, I, I do not like what is happening here. I don't, I seem to be compelled to do this. I don't, uh, uh, my wife would have been appreciative of this. What are you doing? <laughs> take them off! Is, take them uh, off! Take them off! Terrible. I don't understand this. <laughs> Martin's the background. She's like, how is this <laughs> happening? How is this happening? Martin, I swear to God, I will have Michelle kiss you on the mouth again. I, I have one of the buttons. I must stop now. Do, do you want me to? Okay. Take it off. Everyone, take off your clothes. I'm this is this is back there. What are you doing? Take off your clothes. He points to. This is clearly against terms of service on Twitch. I don't understand what's up. He sounds like my fucking headmaster at school. Is a scary thing. <laughs> take off your clothes. Come on. That uh, wait, do you want to talk about this? <laughs> you, yeah, your headmaster had you take off your clothes? Yeah, or, oh, oh, dear. Is this like an after, well, <laughs> after school special? Or yeah, a lot, lot, of, lot of PTSD going through right now. It's a lot of memories. Not all bad. <laughs> not, all, not all bad. Not all bad. Not all bad. <laughs> it was a gentleman. <laughs> the headmaster facade. The gentleman um, and a scholar. Okay. Everything makes so much more sense. <laughs> the connection. <laughs> oh. Okay, so at this point, everybody but Martin Joseph is... Oh, naked. The Marquis de Sade is staring. <laughs> I've definitely got some Shit. cool parts to do. It's not all Bevan unscrews his oh arm and leaves God, it off. Where did you get that? I, that is amazing. It's, a, it's from a Dutchman. Don't ask. <laughs> the Dutch. Oh, I hate them except for one thing. One thing they're good for. 
<laughs> they God, you know, they say about the Dutch, woo. Yeah, big clogs. <laughs> it doesn't even match. The size okay. of the clogs. Yeah, I, I thought I taught you better. This, 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 this <laughs> the to it, The Dutch windmill, it's two guys back to back <laughs> and they roll down the hill. <laughs> it's not the only Eiffel Tower that we've got, you know. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> they got their own over there. <laughs> Uh, the Marquis de Sade then turns towards uh, Martine and says, What are you doing? You are a party pooper. No, Get, take chef. off your clothes. No. Take off your clothes. No, no, and no, then no, he. J'aime regarder. I stay right here. Mm. You are a party pooper. No, it means I like to watch. <laughs> I don't care what it means. You don't watch when you're in my presence. Everyone touches. We use all the senses. We watch, we look, we taste, Ooh, we smell. I don't, like, I don't like a good majority of the senses that you mentioned. Um, with that, <laughs> he character. snaps again, and everybody that is naked moves towards Martin. Perfect. You do what I say. Oh, I am against this as well. Martin, I suggest that you Martin, run away. I was going to say, um, actually, Marquis, Yes? I will take them off if you come with me. Oh, oh this sounds like a fun game. Oh, Go, wait, that was a us. direction. I thought you meant, like, simultaneously. Oh, we can do both. Uh, this so, will be like hide and seek. Every time you find I know that thing too. an article of clothing comes off. Let's go. I'll go hide now. No, bye. That's slow. What happened to just the kissing? Slow is thing? good. Slow and steady no, wins the race. Just we must do quickly. We must do fast now. I'd like to. When keep I most want of everyone to. When I make this. If one this one keeps talking, and he points to Martine, put her here, and he snaps his fingers again, and one of the curtains that had been decorating an area of the sitting room pulls apart, and there is a large wooden plank that's angled slightly like a table with four sets of handcuffs in it, in a X position. Oh, a Judas cross, that's fine. Just normal, everyday thing. Ah, yes, I don't like to call it a Judas cross. He was a betrayer. I like the Jesus cross, because there was always 12 guys around him. <laughs> it is, we, have it on a, we have it on an angle that was incorrect. To. Wait, can I roll a persuasion roll for the hide and go seek thing where she literally just walks him to the comp, like? Right? I you can want do that. To roll a persuasion check. Well, fine, you can do so. And I can't not one you because no, you can't. chat is dropping the fucking ball on this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, shots directly fired. <laughs> chat, this is directly your fault. <laughs> Um, man, I do have all these nat 20s, though. Yeah. Well, let's use, one of, let's use one of those. Oh, nat 20. Well, okay, sure. I'll come with you down to see my ex. Okay. Martine's going to oh. take her, uh, just her jacket, just her, like, outer jacket off um, and drop it on the floor and just walk and be like, see, I told you. Let's go, everyone. Roll a dex check. Lord my. I don't think I'm that good at dex. Not really. I was still successful. Okay, you don't take any damage as you smash into some type of invisible barrier that seems to be at the door right now. Wait, no, but I've been in the doorway the whole time. That was the as point. Around, as soon as you turned around, smack. And the Marquis says, oh, did you hit something of mine? It was there keeping you from going any place now and he looks at the rest of you put her on the cross no yes sir okay Wait. coming up on the cross we got All her righty. we got a live yes, one yes. Well, it turns go. out she's incapable of keeping her mouth shut come on go martin it is easier if you don't just don't struggle i guess come this it'll way be, it'll be Wait, sexy. what kind of check do i have to make to like hold on to the door <laughs> you need to make an extreme strength check Let's do it. It's not gonna work. We walked into his French sex dungeon. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you hold on for a second, but then it's like the the almost like the you know a bad Stallone movie. Are there good Stallone movies? Uh, where it's like four fingers, shots three, fast. two, one, boom. Yeah, shots fired. Um, shots yeah. Fast, so right. you are pulled away and taken over, slammed onto the cross, and you are shackled into place in 
X fashion. Why do I keep getting punished for having good ideas? It's a terrible idea. Go I heard, my- I heard, why do I keep getting bondage for having good ideas? And I was like, when was the last time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you weren't there when, like, the... I was trying to bite a finger, but, it, you know... Well, I'm now sure. you can bite something else. It's a different kind of show today. Yep. Etienne was enjoying the entire encounter. It's right. Etienne okay, was Etienne. enjoying his own yeah. wood, now Etienne he has to join someone. On purpose. Just like high school. Okay, now... <laughs> Just like my whole headmaster. Everyone pair up. Who do we have? We have Big Leg... We have the bald, naked person. We have Mr. Harry, and we've got you have one some hair. Still, I mean, I got no. one leg. I that was me. Still have some hair. Yeah, with the Dutch one leg, and then the Dutch. I like it. <laughs> I I volunteer to pair up with one hand. Is it your double Dutch jump rope? Yes. What's that? I've never heard of that. I, I don't know. You've got to have some Dutch courage for that, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess I can go with Guillaume. <clears throat> okay, uh, so t- <laughs> taking the, the pairing off, like a... pair off with the soldiers, and as the ghouls pair off, I would like you each to roll an unarmed attack against your respective partner. Oh no, Will I'm do. fucking dead. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't hit you. I hit yeah, you. Oh, oh, no. I hit you so well. Why did you hit me for zero damage, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't You're know. Like, uh, I didn't, didn't roll anything. It's a D... What's it? D3? D, D3. Yeah. Bitch slapped me. Yeah, it's a bitch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Free damage, actually. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a D3 plus your damage bonus, which My is damage like one bonus of attack has never been so true for Etienne. Uh, plus one D... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I might go down. Six yeah, damage. I'm down. Oh, I'm gone. Oh I'm not kidding. You're punching the arm. Oh my death. god! They went from zero damage to fucking. Yeah, I'm down. Oh no! Oh, no wait a minute. No, I'm because... at zero. Oh okay. No, you 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 received those ten at the estate prior, but then you ate somebody, didn't you? And then you. Uh... I didn't heal for more. I only got one heal out of it. Okay. Okay. So I'm down. Guillaume drops like a just a fucking <laughs> bag of bricks. Um, as uh, Michelle just cock back some punches and you hear just a, a roar of ecstasy come from the Marquita side. Oh my God, that was good. You just beat the shit out of him. Oh, it's fantastic. Me too. You two. This is, this is not what it looks like when my wife does this and I punch <laughs> Etienne in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and Etienne oh, returns the favor. You guys like just like trading shots, yeah. like bar knuckle fighters. And uh, the Marquis is looking, oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Now, um, where are you guys hit point wise with Myth and. What did you hit me with? My five? hand? Yeah, five. <laughs> are fair. either of you uh, below half your hit points? I, I started yes. below half my hit points. Oh, wait, were we healed at any point? No. Yeah, I started below half of mine as well. When was the yeah, last you guys, time I you took guys seven? You guys had one back damage. from the journey back to the uh, from the estate to the we, asylum. We took a bunch of damage at the at the estate, so we regained one hit point from there. Right. Yeah, I'm below right. half. Hey, and Lauren gives jewels, okay. and that twenty, you do have good ideas. Hey. Ah! I told you. <laughs> Damn it, Lauren. Thank you. It'll up the debate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as soon as the blood flies and sprays, it splatters over the Marquis de Sade, and he just shivers for a moment as he takes his hands and wipes it over his tongue and over his nose as he, oh, this is the best day ever. That is oh. unhygienic. You do not know where my girl has been. <sighs> okay. At the end. Uh, as wooden blood. And you guys watch as he lays down oh, and apparently falls asleep. And as you, guys you do. Are, and you guys are under your own control again. Uh, and Jarrus donates 15 pounds. Wild magic surge to Martin, Giam, and Babin. Things are about to get sticky. A resplendent <laughs> uh, I'm unconscious. <laughs> This this part is true. This is exactly how it happens with my wife. Oh my lord! We'll sleep immediately afterwards. We had. Let's see. So that was for and the two. Let's see what lesser it's twenty five pounds. Uh, <laughs> two wild magic surges and a tentacle for Joseph. 
Well, tentacles are actually off, but we'll say it. Well, fuck it. Let's do it for now. Let's do it for now. Slash roll space 1d10,000. 1d10,000. Okay. So, for... Yeah, 6685. Six, I feel like I got that one before. 6685. Six, six, By the way, the tentacles are d25. 6885, uh, you sprout an additional pair of eyes on your forehead. Okay. Yeah, Good. that makes sense. Yeah, that makes it look sense. Perfect. Perfect. I believe you did get that as Delamere. <laughs> yep. Yes, maybe. Are they yeah. the same colors? Okay, so uh, seven, two, eight, three. I had the eye stock. Seven, two, eight, three. Your so knees smart. and elbows creak like rusty metal. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of gross. You also have an extra two yeah. wild magic surges, there, Jules. Oh, I have another one to roll. Yeah, another two. Get wrecked. Okay. Uh, three, three, two, eight. The next puddle you step in throws you 1d20 yards. Cool. <laughs> uh, 126. Oh, oh no. shit, 126, nice and low. After each spell, your book, your spell book throbs with deep red light. Wow, Ooh. how topical. Roxanne! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, and my, uh, my d25 was a 2. Beautiful. We also had, did we get the Martins wall magic? Yes, we did. Giam, did we get your wall magic search? It's a D10,000. I like it up here. For you on a sick. Four, nine, two, five, four, Giam. You act as though your head and your body are two separate things. Cool, because I'm dead. So I'm dead. Like... <laughs> your head's been disconnected. You can take You're off your head and recite, recite Shakespearean quotations. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> And Fair since enough. I am dead, I can take off my head. <laughs> and and, uh, you, uh, Jules, gets the perverted tentacle, which steals every piece of underwear in a D20 foot space and places them in your own bag for the next month. I'm totally okay with that. Yes. For the next yeah. month. Oh, God, that's going to smell. Beautiful. Okay. So here's how these will break down narratively. Uh, Babin, your extra set of eyes do not appear on your head, but they are in fact on your hand as if you had the, <laughs> yes, so you had the two eyes on the wooden hand. On my wooden hand or my actual hand? Your wooden hand. There, there are okay, eyes perfect. on your wooden hand. Yes, you could actually right. take the wooden hand off and throw it and still see through the eyes if you so desire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, uh, your joints will creak. That's pretty fine. I'd like you to roll that d20 right now as there is puddles everywhere of blood and uh, right. ass essence. And essence. <laughs> okay, so uh, Joseph, you spring from the, the, the restraint snap open whenever the Marquis uh, expends himself and you go flying across the room, smash into the far wall, which is padded slightly, which helps a bit. But you take three damage as you smack and slide down amidst the velvet and the finery of the room of the Marquis de Sade. And um, <laughs> as you land, the, the power that was kind of thrown through you after you stepped into this, um, you notice very much like E.T., the extraterrestrial from the hit movie of the 80s, that the Marquis de Sade's pantaloons seem to be throbbing and gro glowing red at the front as they signal a sign that is a universal Somebody statement. wants to phone home. Everybody wants to phone home. Thanks for jumping in and stepping on my fucking line, man. <laughs> Don't towards that shit. And you just Stick to it. the God script. Damn God damn it, man. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's been pre-written for a reason, man. God. I know. I, I, I studied everybody's lines, though. So it's okay. I have. And uh, you are all free of the Marquis' influence one way or the other. Uh, you do have a crumpled Guillaume on the ground at your feet, who is going to require first aid or a medicine check pretty goddamn quick. Um, Guillaume, no, I'm so can sorry. I, can I can I surreptitiously go around the room and pick up all the underwear and stuff it in a bag? They're already <laughs> in your bag. Oh, good. No one in the room is currently wearing underwear. You also have the Marquise underwear, which are a purple. They are like laced up with rows and rows of stacked almost uh like 
old south skirt type of like flattened lace and they are oh, incredibly yeah. wet mm. hello what is this why has someone i see someone seen my underpants i'm gonna go try and heal giam just try and patch patch them up giam are, are you okay uh can i spend a nat 20 on like first aid Uh, you can, yeah, if you want to yeah. crit a first aid, you absolutely can do this. Do that. Giam! Okay, you crit a first aid. Giam, you get one hit point back as uh, Michelle is able to ghoul you back from the the great beyond. Uh, you are hurt, to say the least, but um, because of the stabilization and the fact that it was a crit that was used, uh, we'll say that with aid, you're able to walk. Just lean, lean on me. Lean on my leg. There you go. Yes. Yes, lean on him when you're not strong. Do it, do it Greg. <laughs> Watching it fly by. <laughs> Soft pitch. <laughs> Seriously, has someone seen my underpants? I, no. No, you just took, you took them right off. They, you know, they might have gone. These wool breeches, they rub <clears throat> such a way. I did yeah, not like. We... Uh, how do we collect, uh, uh, do we have, do we, uh, how you say, do we have his essence? Is it, do we, do we feel good about what just happened to everyone? I just grab his essence, so no. I'm fine, you know, yeah, it's fun. Okay, well, I guess, uh, perhaps he seems to be rather unconscious, but perhaps we hit him in the head to verify that this is true, and we take his whole body to come finally and let him do whatever he wants with his essence. I believe if he woke up, he'd still be excited that we're moving or touching him at all. So we this is true. Him. This is true. Uh, so we are moving him? Is the, the door unlocked? Right. Uh, I, I will go look. Uh, yes, the dungeon master is gone. The keeper yep. of arcane law is gone. Just, and now just I can go get Fenelik and tell him, wheel him in here so I don't have to go anywhere. I don't right. know. Oh. This is a good point. I will do this. Someone, while I'm good, find my underwear. And You're not going to find it. <laughs> the sergeant walks down to get, uh, to get Fenwick. Right, and then what do you find? I find Fenwick. Okay, great. Uh, he's then there with all three of his hands. And we just won the game, guys. Yeah, uh, there it is. GM's not here, so we win yeah, the game. Yeah, there's a meme that's going around. If the GM is gone for 50 minutes, we're legally obligated to level ourselves up. Uh, uh -huh. Oh yeah, also I got full health back, guys. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, perfect. Me too. Um, also, I got like a plus 20 to all rolls going forward. Yeah. Yep. Everything's improved by 30% on my character. <laughs> my hand is a laser gun. Uh, oh, yeah. He's got the blue, he's got the blue my hand is headphones. A laser. <laughs> no, none of that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Fire this. So, um, yeah, you go down and get Fenelik and roll him back Roll his old ass back up to the other side mm -hmm. into the interior of the Marquis de Sade's room. Look, Fenelik, his essence everywhere. It's just true. He, did, he has sprayed the room down with essence. I have no idea. He's like a some type of primate. He just throws okay. it around. Like a fountain of essence. He said <laughs> that you were his ex. He said what? Yes, I thought He's you only it. had eyes for me. I'm oh. disappointed because I came into this room, did nothing, but you apparently have been in here a lot. Listen, uh, have you have you lost underwear in this room? <laughs> I cannot seem to find my underwear in here. This is does the he, room where all underwear disappears. Does he have a special compartment where he puts the underwear um. inside? I'm not from sure what I understand does. from him, you should be changing your name to Fenabite. Oh. Ooh, touche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, the Marquis de Sade is beginning to stir a bit um, as he kind of perks up and looks... Oh, naps over. <laughs> as he looks over and he sees Fenelik and he goes, Oh, fuck, what is he doing in here? I told you he would like your essence inside of him, or something. We both know that's a falsehood. It's a lie. I it's thought you said he'd like your essence inside of him several times a week. Yes. So yes, he would like that. You're putting words in my mouth and not anything else. I don't, I don't. There is no food around. I don't know what else you would put in there. 
His wife is rather boring. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with penis. <laughs> Wait, that's not how it goes. That is what a rhymes penis. with penis. What kind of road food runs with penis? <laughs> Venus runs. Yeah, Venus. Venus, yes, you could eat a Venus flytrap. Yes, Venus. Is no. no. Yes. Venus yeah. is the area on your elbow. Uh, you could put yeah. that in your mouth, I guess. That would be strange. Yeah, but we'll go. We'll, else have a bandage we'll circle back. back around and get to penis, which is what I meant. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <clears throat> I have some several things to talk about with my wife. Yes. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Does anybody else have the ability to heal, perhaps, maybe, so I don't actually really yeah. die? No, I mean, I, none of us do it. I, mean, I don't none have, of us do it. A, I have a horrible medicine. Can I try first aid? We already, he's already back up. Medicine's for doctors. You can first aid me for 1d3. Sorry, not a GM, not a GM, sorry. <laughs> yeah, they, they, she created the, uh, who, who did the first aid? Uh, first aid's one stabilization, isn't it? Medicine's 1d3? Isn't no, that... no, first aid is stabilization if you're unconscious and dying. If I hadn't gotten stabilized, I would have had to do con checks. Con right, check. right, right. But with the, the first aid that was uh, put on you, that was the stabilization. So now somebody can medicine you for 1d3, correct? Because you, once you do first aid once, you can't... Yes, well, yes. It, yes, yes, it no. It depends on how you want to do it, but yeah, whatever, either you, way. You can correct. It's, that's, I'm not going to bitch or anything. <laughs> I just want to make sure I just got afterwards. Just sassy pants. That's why he tried to kill me the first time around. Um, can I like grab uh, <laughs> what's his face's hand and put it in your mouth so you can bite down? Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna bite him anyway. So, just because I'm mad at him now. <laughs> Call yeah. me bald. I still have some hair. Okay. There's some wispies over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little baby hairs. Yep. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Right. Okay, so what are we Someone doing? Who's playing. getting naked? Some people are I'm just already naked. naked. I don't think... I have, I have just put the clothes back on. It is too much work to Mr. take. Mr. Fenlick, I, I think you need to take control of this now. You know, if, if you're going to take his essence, you know, best do it now. I was hoping you would kill him. Well, that's uh, not you, what you said. You said you that. Oh, I would like to you that, said yeah. I says. Okay, you made me almost dead. I will kill him. Babin, shoot him. The my daughter Margo. Yes, yes, I want him dead. I don't want to be dead. You had to kill it. You little broken naked. bastard. What? My arm I is was... in the other room. I'm naked <laughs> without it. Should we leave you two alone for the foreseeable future? With the, the next uh, 45 minutes or so? He looks over at, uh, uh, Fenelik looks over at uh, Guillaume and says, Kill him, and I will help you. You know, Shoot him. I think we are in agreement. Do it. Yeah, I, I want to do it. Sorry, I'm okay with this. But you want to kill me? That doesn't no. make any sense. He wants to kill this, you. I'm just talking. This is the, the uh, consumption that we were talking about. It just consumes. consumption. You mean like the white plague, like tuberculosis? Oh, no. Yes, that is what I call Guillaume sometimes yes, as well. The, the white plague. plague. Why are you being so mean to me? I just died. Of the white plague. But now you are back from the dead again. Uh -huh. I, I kill you next then. Thank you. Oh, I, I have, support that. I would have no one else do it. I would like to uh, make a maneuver so to bite and hold down to this marquee. Okay, sure, go right ahead. That one. Yeah, <laughs> so, I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> As you jump towards the marquee, he doesn't move out of the way and allows you to grapple with him, but um, he just begins to giggle a bit as you are kind of like maneuvering towards his neck. Oh, you can't get out. Oh, no, you don't go to that thing. And um, it's only at that moment, in that close of proximity, Guillaume, that you see a different light kind of go through the marquee's eyes as he engages you much like a dancer would or um uh, perhaps someone that's courting someone else as you're speaking conspiratorially before their parents and as he kind of closes into your confidence he says he doesn't need to kill me he sent you all down here for some type of fool's errand he wishes me dead but you don't have to do it well i offered your Blood first, then your finger, and now we are here at this point. So, 
he stops and kind of puts his arm around Guillaume as he looks back over at Fenelik and he says, tell them. And Fenelik, for a moment, looks slightly ashamed as he says, I don't really need his essence. I could help you without it. I am going to leave you in here forever. That's my sentence, so I needed to have a bit of fun. He is insufferable. Can you no, no, I, I, I think that she means we're going to lock the door with you in here and leave. Yes. No, wait. I wait, have a good wait. mind to take that hand back. Wait. <laughs> yeah, Martinez is going to walk up and reach wait. down and grab the hand. <laughs> Oh, no, you mean this, uh, the simulacrum? The yeah, it doesn't yeah. leave him. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Um, Marquis. Uh, if you can give me the hand that he has, he will be unable to move again and he will be at your mercy. I think you might enjoy that, no? Yes. It is better than the cross want... here. I don't want anything to do with him. Oh. Could you wheel his old ass back down to his side of the block? What if you want him to do things to you? I don't. I don't like this. Yes, neither did I. He's crooked in all the wrong places. I think you could straighten him out. I don't know. I, yeah, I, right. I, like, I like the way that you say that, but <laughs> there's only so much I can do with geometry. There's only so erect someone can get. <laughs> I don't like true. this. Yeah, true. <laughs> Steal him back. <laughs> well, good. So we can keep him. He is like a pet of us. Um, so at this point, this great. Uh, you feel a veil kind of drop over you as you are each warded against any type of, for D&D terms, this would be type of scrying or alert magic or anything that might be able to... Uh, prevent you from entering a warded area in Call of Cthulhu. Um, you will all notice, too, that inside the bend of your left elbow, there is a slight, almost not necessarily a tattoo, but it looks like a birthmark, but it, it is in the vague shape of a star. Martin's gonna pat the Compt on the head and say, "See, si, mon petit, that wasn't so hard." So we got ringworm for this. <laughs> yeah, we got ringworm. Magical like dog shit. Yes, so barefoot in that room. <laughs> Would you please wheel me back? You see, it is much nicer when you say please. Now this way. Stop spinning. Stop it. Hands up. He begins to wheel him back. <laughs> Hand up. Okay. So you guys wheel him back, and uh, as you're leaving, the comp comes to the door, and you realize at that moment that, or the marquee comes to the door, and you realize at that moment that he can't leave either, despite the open nature or the seemingly open nature of the portal in front of him. And as he leaves, uh, if anyone turns around, all you see, all you see is him go. And you walk away. The milk drips from his eye. I will miss you. Au revoir. We will send the sergeant back to see you. No, you will not. I send will him tell. with his whole battalion. I will tell everyone that you are a woman. No, you will not. You will wish you were a man. You will have to explain why you didn't say anything before. This is what we call mutually assured destruction. Let's keep wheeling. I am about to retire literally any day now. <laughs> You're too old for this merit. As the, as the children say, get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, as you uh, take him back, you are able to, uh, once again, you have the protection from Comte Fenelik. He has waved you off, but as you are leaving his room of the asylum, he tells you all, make sure you watch him. He is crafty, Regalt. And thank you for the fun. Yeah. 
That is it. Right. You okay, just wanted a, like him. Thanks. You just wanted a party. He does like a theme party. Sort of. The keeper told me he wanted to incorporate the Marquis de Sade, so I came up with this elaborate ruse. <laughs> Why did I have to take off my pants? That's clever. Someone has stolen my because, because the keeper told me to do that as well. Oh. Okay. That is. Is the keeper also in this asylum somewhere? No, like he likes to a bit, man. Yes, he's moving in so shortly after this campaign. <laughs> I believe he runs this place. He's a master of a man. I have met him in real life. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, okay. You like what are we doing? You like? We have... I think right. we're we gotta going... go find a book. Am I allowed to heal myself with a crit? Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, which your your power uh, goes, how often can you use it, Meta? Once an you hour can... to heal. Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. And if you want to crit it, it'd be maximum healing. Uh, where do you find the the food? Like the floor. You can have it from my compartment if you want. I can like, pop open. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking if there's anything fun I can do here, and I don't think I, I don't think that there is. Think there are plenty. Stuff. We can say we can say this is on the way out of the asylum. So you have. There are plenty of inmates. There are plenty of uh, orderlies. There's a few doctors. Um, there's the marquee, but he seems to be a tougher bit of prey than perhaps you're willing to expend on a mere meal. Uh, whatever you'd like to do, we can do. Um. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'm not really okay. sure. Okay, but yes, as soon as you do, if you want to spend a crit on that power, you'll get full health back from whatever, how, as long as you describe to me narratively where you obtain the, the flesh, we're good to go. Well, I only so get, I'd only get three back. Okay. Because that's 1d3 is the max. Yeah, so you get three. And uh, if, if it helps while you guys are leaving, there is a, an older woman who seems to be in a chair outside in the hallway, sort of just rolled out there for no apparent reason. And she's just sitting there, just kind of, hi, well, hey, I used to be able to pay time. Well, that, well, there was rain right on my furniture. Oh, it came down and it was rain, red, blue rain came through and the blue rain fell on me and then it was, it was like stars it was. And she's back and forth. <laughs> hey, old lady. There's no dead bodies, though, is there? Hello. Hey, uh, well, hey. No, uh, there's that, that woman that was so expertly done by yeah, yeah. <laughs> She wasn't dead, though. She's not dead. Again, do you want to eat this lady? I, I can it kill her. It can be. I, I, can I am her. standing right here, Michelle. I do not have no dignity at all. No, I, no, 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 no. At, no, at no, least, no. at least, wait till the people who are still alive leave before you talk about eating other people that are still alive. I mean, it's not all people that are alive. I mean, they. I mean, this person is still alive. Yes. You, I mean, is I, she? Yes. You are talking about killing and eating a person. I, I uh, shoot her in the head. <laughs> is she? <laughs> Where did you get this gun from, Michelle? <laughs> Who gave Michelle a gun? Where's my gun? <laughs> hey, dear, you need just, to keep more I, control I, of your hands. I can just punch her to death like I did Guillaume. I mean... It's no, I would not recommend that for many other people. And if I did everyone you knew, you would see <laughs> the big it would be from me. God, I, I, I tell you what, I'm going to go outside and I'm okay. going to get the carriage ready. The, <laughs> uh, the sergeant Martin leaves to get the carriage ready. Stop Martin is going to just death. follow the sergeant. She's like, you're yeah, fun. Is it okay if I pummel this lady to death, you know, to Greg? Yes, you do not have to roll an attack roll as any type of encounter with your <laughs> <Too bad>. dead. <laughs> <laughs> you just tear her head off of her shoulders and just... It's brutal. You know, rip it off and leave the body. Hey, hey. Look, yeah, my dad's gonna take the head. You know, just just for my. You just have for a me. straw. Just oh yeah, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's slipping. <laughs> it's a bendy one, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It's good. Yes. So yeah. you're able to murder this old golden girl, and you are so able mean. to eat her flesh to regain three hit points. But hey, um, she's out of her misery. And uh, no one seems to even notice that you just, yeah. <laughs> you know, hey. she would have been a good friend. She would have traveled she, on the road and back again with you guys. But she would have thanked you too, yeah. you know. 
<laughs> and if she had a party. She's kind of traveling with us anyway. I feel like one quarter of <laughs> chat gets the joke. Live review are clever or funny. <laughs> I'd like you to look at this. Too young. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> old people jokes. Nailing them today. <laughs> da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Next scene. Next scene. Okay, so you guys are you... <laughs> Next scene. <laughs> <get. laughs> Next no, scene I can relate to. Um, you guys are able to get back to Paris. Uh, you are able to, over the course of the next day and a half, it takes you to get back to Paris. You're able to heal up accordingly. So anybody that had received first aid, which I believe at this point is everybody, will receive the natural one hit point today. So you should be back up by at least that much. If you receive any type of medical training, uh, you'll be able to get one by three. One. Um, and we'll say that really, if this was the evening you were in the asylum, two days from now uh, to the, the second evening following your return to Paris, you're able to identify Dr. Regalt's house, his apartments, which are still presumably the same ones that he'd had for several years. And you all are situated on the rooftop on the building across the street. Does Etienne have his binocular hands? You have to ask Etienne. Boy. Uh, I see with my Etienne eyes. What am I looking for? I guess we do a spot hidden. Yeah. I guess that's the yeah, idea. That's just usually how we're trying to see if this is his house, right? Just pretend to look through some wooden okay. hands. And, okay. <clears throat> Martine's going to grab Etienne's binocular hand and put it over her eye and look at the house. Okay. Uh, let's see. You see that th uh, these apartments are on the Rue, uh, Rue Neuve St. Augustine, which is the new road of St. Augustine. Um, and you also see the following things. As you are watching, you see that there are servants that are arriving throughout the day uh, into this early evening. They are coming in with food and what appears to be laundry. Um, you are seeing a few dinner guests arrive and you can see that they're being escorted in through the front. Um, about an hour after you guys are sitting and watching, you see an odd sight as a wagon pulls up with a coffin on the back of it. Um, the butler greets the driver. They talk very friendly. And uh, you see that the coffin is unloaded and taken into the rooms of Regalt. Uh, by the way, Dr. Regalt is now called Citizen Regalt because in the new revolutionary France, uh, medicine or the titles thereof, doctor, whatnot, uh, physician, have been outlawed. So anybody, regardless of training, can be considered a physician. So there's no longer the title Dr. Regalt, he is Citizen Regalt. And you all notice these things as it's happening. There appears to be a dinner party in full swing. Um, just need to tell me how long you would like to watch. I feel like we mm. want to get the full lay of things. Like also, like if there's lots Getting of books, servants right? coming and going, like how many? I feel like I have uh, four out of 14 hit points. So 10 days is a good time to watch. Yeah, I, I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Let's just watch for about 10, 10 solid days. What happens uh, to that? 10 so. day dinner party. <laughs> um, okay. As well, you guys are sitting I, there, uh, Guillaume is nibbling on something. I'm not actually uh, being too quiet about it either. I'm kind of really, really hungry. There's a lot sweet. of blood and flesh everywhere now. Nice. Martine's gonna pull pull a hanky out and hand it to Guillaume. Just be like, oh, thank you. You have a little spot of red on your face. There you go. You got it. Uh, I will. Uh, I guess so. Do we? Go in there. I think I, you know. We always I, think we can just go in there, and it never quite works out as planned. But we have the world on us, so you can. Wait, I have an yeah. idea. I, it is. <gasps> it is. Since I lost Michelle, who was my idea man, I have uh, I'm here. had four ideas. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Uh, but where you are there. Where are we right now? Um, we're just dead you, people. You'll figure it out. Oh yeah. Uh, we, do you recall we were inside the catacombs, everyone, that is here now, today, uh, and he was storing all the skulls in here. Yes, Greg, I'm not just making that up. Uh, he was storing the skulls in the catacombs, in the catacombs. outside of... Yeah. 
Yeah, he was having Amazing. them delivered. And if you guys tell me how long you intend to watch him, I can know how much information I'm going to give you or what events I'm going to set into motion. I feel uh, like we watch for the night. Like, we're, we're staking him out. We well, want to get well, him gather it, data. It depends on how well this plan that I just came up with out of my head goes. Uh, so he kind of tells everyone, do you recall about the, the catacombs and the skulls that were there in, um, and how the Count Venelik, he said that he needed 10,000 skulls, yes? Or some oui. such number? Oui. What if what if we just set uh, innumerable fires inside the catacombs and just burn the skulls until they become ash and they are broken and he has no skulls? That would oui. set him back. Yeah, no bit. skulls. You know, you burn the skulls. Yes, he would need 10,000 new skulls or, or how many? Yeah, yeah, thousand, yes. ten, that's, yeah, that's that many I more mean, people that need to die. That is more efficient than taking the, the guillotines. Yes, I mean it would it would definitely it would it would set him back a significant amount. Yes. Um, and all of his friends are here at this house party, don't you? D well, we do not know that, do we? But for this, we would need a force of thousands, tens of thousands. But my lord, there is no such force. Well, maybe. That's what my things will. <laughs> All these 10,000 guys I've just had hanging outside, they didn't see on the way in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you here for the party? All right, let's go wait. Oh, gonna get this, I gotta get this new skull tattoo on my skull. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, maybe we just, you know, yeah. uh, go in, you know, it's like, hello. Uh, you know, maybe we can find some, you know, sticks of dynamite or something that blows at your know, gunpowder. I am with this. Or, you know, fires would go in there, catacombs, boom, up they go, you know, and then he's gotta get Oops. more skulls. I mean, yes. the problem with going boom in the catacombs is that they are underneath Paris and then well, all of Paris comes crumbling down. Trust, yes. trust me, yes. I, I have done a lot of boom boom in the, the catacombs. And, that uh, is a different thing entirely, Michelle. I think you're saying something. A lot different. of boom in the catacomb. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, we go it's boom boom in the catacomb. Rhyme. <laughs> Those words don't rhyme the way you're rhyming them, Michelle. It's just, yeah, it's how it. Right. That's how it works. Uh, anyway, you know, if we do a little boom, uh, then it's not as big as a big boom. You know, a little small boom boom. You know, we like to boom. You like to boom. What happened to his accent? We, yeah. we all like to boom boom. Can you can you explain this to me? Welcome to Italy. Guillaume, can you translate, please? Yes, one time I believe there was a uh, boom boom boom. Yes. Uh, Your name, Guillaume? I don't think so. I like you in my room. That's what I uh, His name is. <laughs> <laughs> The catacomb, coom. The catacomb, coom. We have a little boom, boom. It's fine. Uh, what I'm saying is, you know, you have a little, uh, you know, explosion down there. It might not blow up all the Paris. And if he does do all this with the Paris and the skulls, Paris is screwed anyway. You know, all the Francais is, uh, <clears throat> how you say, <laughs> all the Francais. Easy, Michelle. Easy, Joey, to be right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when, you, when you're in the catacombs, you, you got to hey, go to the boom. Hey, yo, you got a boom boom down there. I got a boom boom in the catacombs. Hey. That's what I'm saying, you know. Uh, so you, you got to be That's careful. That's the next campaign, Will. Yeah. yeah, save it. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> now Jack Deacon's coming out. He's a mess. Oh, man, yeah. Okay, it's fine. Uh, oh, God. Listen, you got to get that shit together. You, you can't just fucking together. drop it right now. Yeah, you it's fucking on. biblical. It's gonna be. So uh, Michelle was like, "Okay, um, maybe we, you gotta find the book. We know that much, but why not find the book and explode all the skulls? You know." That's well, what I say. Yes. Well, I mean, yes, I think getting rid of the skulls is a good idea. I also think we should know a little bit more about what we're going up against. So maybe... Do you know what I know, though, Martin? Do you know what I know? What I know that you... right that right here we have the best one-handed sapper in the all of France. Oui. Yes, that's true. Do you have uh, your explosive hand, Etienne? The heel, oh, I, I already have my explosive hand. hand. That is the default hand. Well, easy. I thought your that. explosive hand is when they got blown up. Well, that is a different... So oui. That's a very, very... Do not bring up the hand. Talk about that, you know better than this, Michel. Right. As a sapper, I will go in there with, with, uh, with Michel, Michel. And I will well, uh, I just... try to find their library. I mean... Yes, I think maybe we, um, so... He wasn't listening. I was, but Etienne was not. <laughs> Good cover. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I know what's happening. <laughs> you guys are, you guys, yeah. So, um, but the, um, uh, Etienne's been watching this whole time. 
and just has not paid attention. You guys want to go and blow up the... Uh, the That's a consummate piece catch. of incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best soldier in our right. He just has really bad hearing. So he's, he was focusing all of his Etienne eyes uh, and not on his oh Etienne God. ears. <laughs> Martine thinks we should blow up the skulls. She also thinks we should not, because, look, we saw a lot of people at those catacombs. Just because there are fancy people at his house for a fancy party, do you think those are really the same people guarding the skulls? Yes, yes, I see what you're saying, Martin. You would like to dress fancy and go inside the party. No, Great. You go Martin inside the party, would not I like will to take... go inside the party. Martin Good. would like to wait right here until we know more. Okay. What if... A little bit of data, just a little bit of knowledge yes. for us to work with. Yes. Wait, why what don't we if, split up? We split yes. up the party. It always what works. What if you, you dress fancy, go inside the party. No. Uh, Guillaume can watch your back because he is no. quick and he can quickly jump in there and save you. And then uh, Michel know. takes uh, Etienne to show him where to make boom boom in the catacomb. And then just, what two if birds, we, one stone. Yes. What if we just get an idea of the comings and goings of this house for an entire day? I had enough of that idea when I was in the asylum. I don't want it again. And then, once we know who is coming and going, we can decide. You don't need to dress fancy. That puts you. That makes you conspicuous. The marquee did enough about it. As a parlor maid, perhaps Michelle, and Michelle is a corpse. You cannot but keep also dressing. Also, make a great parlor maid. I promise. As, you. As oh, wait, you. Oh, yeah. We have to know. We have to. You can't go in not knowing anything. I'll go in as a maid. Who's going in as a maid? That yes, you... you will later. Later, just give us a chance to I gather. Got enough and... it. No, I, I, hate one. I can go I... in that mage. Wait, what? No? Martine's what? like, what? please, what? please, can we know anything about this house before we go barging in? And I think we should know something about who is coming and going from the catacombs before we send someone in, because yes. I do not want to send Etienne in there to lay charges, and he finds that he is surrounded by bodies that don't match their heads that are about yes. to kill him. Yes, how you say two prong attack? Yes, split up. Also, as I if you lay charges, I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> I love the two prong attack. I don't like it. I hear him all Why the time. Why do you go back head. to the asylum? I don't. How did he get out? Don't he sorry. The door. <laughs> Just I toddled over. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was too much going and coming, and, and now we're in a huddle, and the marquee is always in the huddle now. Uh, hello. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, what's the time out of the asylum? Well, Marquis, <laughs> the sergeant has changed his mind about you. He would love to engage in anything you like. Uh, no, I, I think, would love to be engaged to you, is what I say. I think that we could blow up the skulls and set things back. And it would make a great distraction for someone stealing the book. It Wait. sounds a lot like you have many good ideas with what you are volunteering for. Good. And no, good no, break. no, Martina is not volunteering. Like a good idea. Martin is the ideas man. Martin is the please get the fucking data before you send her inside with a lunatic. Yes, Martin. Uh, unfortunately, our spy is gone now. You have scared him off and he is dead, I believe. Oh, Which Christoph. Spy? Christoph Wait. was a good... I did not scare off Christoph. Christoph was my friend. You let him get eaten. You are a bad sergeant. But what I do no, know I is don't. that you are looking for a French maid and I have here both a lady and a water bearer that you fit the bill as, a, as it was. And... Uh, God. That's your job in the army. You're the guy who fetches food. Water bear. You're the water bear. You're essentially a French maid for the army, and you're a lady. Wait. <laughs> no, you're I'm both like... the only lady and the maid. <laughs> hey, we, we didn't write this. We could also, also send did. in um, a butler, or... Well, as it has when you both dress as man and woman, so this is perfect for you. Perfect. <laughs> I if I go in there, I enough want to enough. Know something enough about enough. the of the house first. If you want me to go in there as a maid, fine. I get you seated for at least a day while you stop bleeding from every orifice, and <coughs> then we make a decision. We make an informed decision. How about that? Yes. That would be a new thing for us—an informed yes. decision. I don't even know what that it is. So okay. I know. You see, Michelle, he will grow as a human being, which we didn't think was possible. I'm only a little bit human now, so. Exactly. Guillaume, Guillaume, you are a quiet sense of reason when you're not consuming people. What do you think of this? Well, I don't know. It's... If we go inside, 
I can sneak instead. I don't need a disguise of any kind. Get okay, reconnaissance and then come back and report. I don't know. Yes. I think team reconnaissance should be this, and team explode this girl, boom, boom, in the catacomb should be this. Yes. So All right. I'll go inside now then. All right, inside Wait, then. No, what if we reconnaissance a little outside? So we do both. You go. It would be too bot. So ah. I can I can climb and go inside. Around. This is the best plan we've ever had. I go to the cellar. I think oh, I Michelle, I, I think that's a plan to get Fenelik was a pretty good plan as well. Oh, I yeah. think it's the most thought out plan we've ever had and it's probably well, I, I, I think that's a plan time. about come Fenelik was also pretty good. I haven't pretty... done anything on this one, so I don't I mean, know about your plan. I died in that plan, but that's fine. I mean I did not die. Michelle died and that was an acceptable loss. Oh, it's just my leg. Yeah. See, he's fine. I just well, have a big That wasn't a uh, planning fault, you know. Yes, that we did not plan to go to. Uh, That's true. That wasn't part of the plan. You know, my leg going off wasn't part of the plan, so you can't blame the plan for that. Exactly. Thank you. I appreciate I'm it. from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes everywhere, you know. Sometimes it goes like this, and sometimes it goes like that. But... <laughs> Damn it. Or times it goes like this. <laughs> All right, so um, we we'll, uh, we go inside the house, and then we have everybody else go to the the, the catacomb. Wait, yes, right. Who's, who's the house crew and who's the catacomb crew? I'm, exactly. right, I'm going to ask a very do. leading question. What the fuck are you people doing? <laughs> so That's I, a good idea. I Martin? think I think Martin and Guillaume are the reconnaissance crew, and then everyone else is boom boom in the catacombs. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in boom boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom boom boom. Yeah. I love how Greg was like, I was prepared for everything but this. <laughs> Are we the two most stealthy people in the party? Are we the two most stealthy people in the party? I am probably not. I'm good at disguise. Martin's one, of good you, at one of you is the disguisiest person in the party. I'm, the I'm pretty quiet, person. but only self-proclaimed. I mean, you should disguise you me, but I will stealth <laughs> anyway. Yes. I am I've never heard of Floor Creek. <laughs> That's true. You Martine, have one. <laughs> yeah, Martine's stealthy ish, but she was just gonna disguise herself as yeah. she was gonna knock out one of the parlor maids that does work there and then pretend to be her. Yeah. But you should also disguise me a little bit. Yeah. We'll we'll make you into something. A footman. Yes. I could be the guy that carries the baggage too, whoever that is. Footman. Is that what they're called? Baggage. Yeah, man. footmen are like a catch all. Okay. I will be with I couldn't be. We're gonna like, I'm saying this, and Greg's gonna be like, Renault has no footman. Um, No, to to recap, no, you've seen servants and a butler, but to recap, you're gonna dress a ghoul up like a footman. You're going to knock out a maid and take her place. I think it worked in Harry Potter, if I recall. Plus, I'm then, still gonna be so stealthing. The, the also gets a historical fact as well. Yeah. So here's the thing that I'm going for: people don't pay attention to their servants. I know, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Martin's I making on the fact that nobody pays attention to their server. Let's tie with Lannister. Oh, shut up. This isn't Game of Thrones. Fucking this is something spoilers. far worse. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll do what you guys say. If you want me to go boom boom, you know, I'll, go, I'll go down there. While well, you guys do maid stuff, I mean, it's not like I really wanted to wear the outfit or anything. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, come play French maids with us. Okay. Team Recon. They're just maids when we're in Paris. They're not French hey, maids. They're just Michelle, maids. <laughs> did you want? I can. If you do a good job of the boom boom, I will get you an extra maid outfit that you can wear whenever you want. I've already got one. It's fine, but uh, okay. Okay. Made of flesh. Wait. <laughs> made of maids. I call them flesh maids. No. Not not French maids. <laughs> flesh maids. Yeah. Oh no. Wait. Oh, God. Michelle, if you do a good job and you don't let anybody die, like if the sergeant doesn't die and the Etienne doesn't die, okay. we can do an afternoon where everyone dresses up as maids, even the sergeant. Oh, okay. okay. I make this promise to you, knowing it will absolutely All right. happen. Maybe, well, you know, if, if we're going down in the catacombs, you know, you guys going to need a light. Luckily, I've got one made of flesh. Uh, see right through. It's my flashlight. You. Here you go. It's, it's, instead, of, <laughs> instead of glass, it's, you know, just flesh. Oh. Quite luminous. Oh, perfect. 
How long Perfect. will? How long will was that just percolating in the back of your head? How many weeks have we been doing this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. I'm glad. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go. I gotta go find. Go. I'll go find Black Powder. Let's get far away from here. <laughs> okay. Again. <laughs> so Team Recon. Guillaume and Martine, you guys are going to sneak in. Are you just immediately hatching this this plan? No, to we're going to do some. We're going to do some watching to figure out the comings and going oh, of the house. Okay. okay, you guys are going to watch the comings and the goings of the house. Team boom, bo- uh, team boom, boom, and I'm the catacombs. Actually, are I'm you actually, guys going? Uh, yes. I'm actually going to question this plan completely. Being Etienne and a soldier of the people. Uh, which he I always has been. Go ahead. Uh, he, <laughs> well, he was, he, uh, we, uh, uh, if we blow the skulls up, we are going to uh, then force them to kill that many more people. Why would we do that? Because they, uh, they are close to the goal, uh-huh. I think, of 10,000 skulls, and they have to start all over again. It gives us more time to get the book and to stop the plan. We go in there, then we just get the book. We don't know where the book is, or how to read it, or what to use. But we know it's in there. Yes. Let's just go in there. Yes. But if Otherwise, we have if we have the book and they get ten thousand skulls, the book does nothing. Right. Oh. Yes. Right. But we will. Yes. We will be hurting more people. Yes. That many more have to die. That is true. You make a good point. I just want to blow something up, you know. Uh, it seems like a good backup plan, even if we don't set it off. You know, if things go badly up there, we can say, you know, get them out there quick, you know. So right, could be that, that, with that remote. Beep, beep, beep. That's, good. That's, good. That's good to be planned. That's a good plan. I actually have to, he's got a little hinge and there's a button right in his... Uh... Very well. Uh, so do we go in there? Or do we go and set the, the dynamite? I'm going for dynamite, you know? Boom. I think we are doing both. I think they are looking for the book. We're still go, okay, we're still going. You know. <laughs> at, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> All right. the dinner guests are beginning to leave. It is roughly 10, 10, 30 in the evening. As you all have deliberated back and forth, the intricacies of this finely crafted plan uh the the odds and ends of acquiring a french maid outfit a catch-all footman outfit that will be used to disguise the ghoul in your party uh the idea of blowing up or boom booming the catacombs and uh you see that the dinner party is in fact leaving and you see the servants leave after they do also have no explosives at the end it was just one time that i had uh, a a boat and a river and I had to take corpses across the one side and it took a day and a half of planning. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, I will never let that die. <laughs> my finest moment in the kind of roleplay history. <laughs> All right. So um, where do we get the explosive? <clears throat> oh, I just I'm assumed correct. that we have it done. Correctly? There is a guy who's currently sitting in prison thanks to the French Revolution that can give you lots of explosives. I'm trying to remember his name, but he exists in this city and he don't think he's guillotined by the time it is now. And I want to say he invented like some major Check the tapes. All right. I will look it up, but I know that you can totally get explosives in Paris at this time pretty easily. That is not All the right. case. <laughs> no, no, this is real. The player said it. It's true. It's Whatever true. to yes I and, Greg. Find- <laughs> no, this is this is the uh, of the uh, what is it? The General Assembly is in charge now, and getting whatever you think you need from uh, any type of armament. The National Convention has uh limited the sell or the sale of uh firearms gunpowder for just this specific purpose they're trying to make sure that there isn't going to be any type of uprising because 
everything is super duper fucking unstable right now. No, his so, name is Antoine Lavoisier, and he existed. Fuck and, him! And he <laughs> fuck that guy. We have no idea who he is. Right. And he can. Uh, listen, if you guys want to get gun power, chemistry, and he can teach you how to make your own explosive. So ha, you don't have to buy. What them. is what is the day? Today is the fifth of November. Yes, it is a good day for gunpowder treason. I think. Uh, right. So if you guys if you guys want to acquire explosives, you can do so because you are part of the military. And I'm not going to role play you guys getting like a keg of gunpowder or something, but it's going to require a time commitment. I am going right. to make you roll for it one d three days to be able to find the way to get into, you know, the the the, the master at arms or whoever is maintaining you have a quartermaster who's maintaining a hold on this. You'll eventually get it, but this is a time thing at this point. I'm still not about this plan. I mean, my plan was to light it on fire. I don't know where the explosives came in. Because <laughs> I think all. it was a sapper. I, think I mean, it's the same thing, I guess. Ultimately, they'd have to kill more people. Right. I, mean, I don't think that's, that's going to stop them. <laughs> but so Can we go into the house, maybe? Yeah. I thought yeah, we yeah, were going to go part. into the house when they had, uh, right as they were exploding things, so that you, Regalt, would have incentive to leave the house as a distraction. Oh, no, no. Uh, Guillaume wants to go into the house days. regardless of what's happening uh, with that group. He wants to go in for recon. Okay, so what did Okay, we I will tell you guys this. As you guys are actively said you were watching the house, Yeah. at just after midnight, you see Regalt leave through the front door, lock it, and move off. You see a wagon pull up filled with the masked and uh, robed figures that you all saw in the catacombs as they clitter clat down the street and you see him join up with several other uh, carts that seem to be filled with bodies from the various cemeteries throughout as he returns to his nightly ritual of going down into the catacombs. I guess. I'm definitely going to the house. Okay, Martine's like, shit, wait. We have to disguise <laughs> ourselves first. Okay, do your do the thing, Miss YouTube. Do a spot. Everybody, do a spot hidden if everyone is still there. No, haven't moved. Well, shit. Okay, the sergeant would realize. Yeah, the sergeant would realize that while well, everyone else is kind of looking and you know trying to determine the situation with the the uh, suite of rooms that uh, Regalt has, they appear empty. You remember that the servants left shortly after the people that were there for the dinner party, and you saw Regalt leave and apparently lock the door behind him. Michel, there are no lights inside. Michel, take, take, stop it. Take the dress off. You do not need to wear the dress. Stop playing pretend. There is no one in the house. Oh, okay. Fine. Wait, what, what do you mean it's empty? Disguised. house is empty. The, the servants left, so all of the people left That's inside. Not- it is empty. Just empty of people or empty empty as in nothing is inside empty of all the people they have left there's no need to disguise there's no one inside to see you yes you realize you should come back. Greg. <laughs> I, I mean that's what greg just described <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't sure i was asking for clarification oh. yes no the house is filled with inanimate objects okay there's no light uh if there is something animate inside it is not using light to navigate and a lot bro there is an animate candelabra there as well, and a clock. Does it smell like anybody's inside? Yeah. But it smells like a beast. No, um, that dog. Right. he's got teeth, razor sharp ones. Uh, roll me a smell, and you're gonna have to get a little bit closer. Um, even as you get closer, this is Paris. Uh, this is also Paris during the Revolution and the Grand Terror. There is always that underlying scent of stale blood, um, horses, horse shit, sewage, food just the general life and uh yes all of a sudden someone beside you is no you don't know who the fuck this person is it appears <laughs> to be a friend uh as oh, there is a a critical what? disguise success but why and, yeah <laughs> because as, Martina knows people leave a house and come back and she doesn't know how long we're gonna be there also i rolled earlier and guillaume is successfully disguised as a footman Yes, a very oversized and strange footman, but whatever it was an extreme success to your footman yes. now. Yes. 
Right. Well, I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the Zartan impersonation that uh, <laughs> you have undertaken. So as someone is, you, you look like a, whatever French maid you want to look like. Parlor it's maid. One of the ones, yeah, par, yeah, you go. Yeah, that's the best of the French maids. You're the, Our creme de la creme. What's the, the, the feather duster from Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> yep. That's you what I look like. I am a giant feather duster. <laughs> yeah, <Paulette. laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Have to pick locks? Uh, no. Um, oh no, no, that's but... not really in my wheelhouse. Okay. Not at all. No. You know, this, this is my wheelhouse. It's very good. Yes. Yes. See, no one will know who you are. We go. We, oh, we go wait, I have a great idea. Hold on. It is uh, called the. Uh, it is called a rock, and you throw no, it. Through, stop no, stop it! You throw it through the, the window. Then we no. Through the window. No. This is a public street. Now it is after midnight, but this is no. a street. That is fair. Uh, I thought he was some rich and famous guy that lived off his own. Sorry. Would you like to come with me, my team? Yes, let's go and um, get away from these people. We obviously do not know. What if you tunnel in through the basement? I'm climbing up. Oh, bubble, so yeah, bubble, do the bubble thing again. Tunnel in through the basement. You pop up in the wine cellar, and then you can just climb the stairs, you unlock the door. Um. Meanwhile, Martine and Guillaume, as you've left these two, as they're continuing, they have a whiteboard out, they're drawing. You should, you should. Why don't you try the photo thing? Uh, and, and, oh, and then we yeah, go yeah. button hook across there, and that. then we go to you, uh, oh. and then I'll pass off what we need to. Yo, 23 skidoo! Right. Um, okay, so uh, you <laughs> guys are able to cross the street. You guys are able to cross the street uh, and get to the front door. No, there servants' appear- insurance. Yeah, we're looking In for- case anybody sees, servants' insurance, we're dressed as servants. There is no servants entrance. Oh, there's always a servants entrance, please. There is no servants entrance. Okay. Is there like how how Reddit tall is this will thing? be fine? <laughs> and is there an alleyway nearby? No, they won't. There's a kitchen door. There's always a kitchen door. Lord Almighty. Okay, okay. let's go over to roll twenty. Uh, you guys should be able to see the new, new fucking little... evidence in here that Greg's bringing. That's fucking right. <laughs> you will see now with Exhibit A right in this general fucking vicinity. Is there, is there an alleyway? Yes. Doesn't look is like a servant's entrance to me. There is an alleyway That's off to the side on the Rue de la Paix. I will open that up for you. Uh, there isn't a... Let me do that. Hold on. I don't want to. They put this at the oddest fucking angle. It's France. Yeah. <laughs> it is France. So that's around Isn't the corner a, of. Oh, and in France. It is a polygon tool, you know? It, so is it, it's right next to the same house or, or a series of homes? Uh, that is the. You guys are uh, viewing what is essentially the uh, second floor. That is, this area right here is the first floor. Oh, fuck. Is there like a coal? Is there like a Boy, coal? I wish there was an alternative to roll 20 that we could use, Will. <laughs> Gee, oh, well, boy. if only we were sponsored next yeah. season for a sign of that. <sighs> if only we could find something that's way better. <laughs> okay. You know what you're looking at, Greg, so I'm going to trust your instincts here and say that you find us a place on the second floor that me and <laughs> Our team can go in through. <laughs> I want you to yeah, ping okay. on the map now. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what we'll do is you guys are able to jump in. I don't through. have an imagination, so if you could figure this out, that would be the best. <laughs> this is why I need polygons. And, oh, damn it! <laughs> I As you, a visual. you pop in through, and I'll just go ahead and do all this. Boom. You pop into the back up there, and what appears to be, hey, it's the master bedroom. What do you nice. know? Um, As you guys pop into that area, you feel a tug on the left hand or your left elbow as the star that was on there just evaporates off of your flesh. Oh, wow. But you're able to cross the threshold and get inside this area. Everything appears very, very... Very what? Very, very neat, Neat. meticulous. Everything is stack there's any laundry that has been delivered seems to have already been put away uh the bed is neatly made it is after midnight and appears not to have been slept in uh Uh, no dust anywhere to be found 
it is uh you know this is a surgeon's quarters mm -hmm. so everything seems to be very tidy okay i would like to spot hidden for the book that we're looking yeah for. same z's sure uh go right ahead and roll for me why am i always fairly spot hidden never never a success smell it smell it smell it i'm See, just here smell. to be the brute force cthulhu smells jumping into into buildings and stuff Okay, so uh, I just shoot Guillaume, them. you're up there on the second floor, and I'm going to say that you guys were able to jump up using Guillaume's, uh, you My know, go -go abilities. Go -go. Right. Um, you do identify yeah. that this area right over here is the only door that's leading from this space. Okay. So no book though. No book that you can. What's my success? Okay, I I don't. I mean, probably not here. It's, we never went into the comp's bedroom. They seem to like to make a little, like, evil lair. So I think we look for one of those. Yes, I think you're correct. So go outside then. Yeah. Quite silly of it. Yes, through the door. Can I smell to see if anybody is inside? Yes, go right ahead. Don't roll, like, shit roll 20, I swear. Thank you. Yeah, blame it on the 20. <laughs> I love how you, like, intimidated roll 20 into rolling well. <laughs> Very Guillaume. <laughs> Somewhere the guy that's controlling all of the dice rolls for roll 20 goes, whoa, she's fucking super time, guys. What a shitty job that would be. I mean, I mean <laughs> this, wants, this person wants a roll. Uh, okay. Uh, another 10,000 oh, roll. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Meta, Meta, you might want to spend those luck and get that extreme success. Excuse me. Don't tell me what I want to do. Okay. I said you might. I don't know what you want to do. I'm going to save my, my luck and all of that stuff for when I find a book and get to deal with the fact that I'm probably going to die again. So I'm just yeah, going to not. Going not again. Awesome. Yeah, that, okay, that so I, six now on, so I mean. I, that's true. <laughs> you that's put true. your nose to the bottom of the door. You give it a good smell. You have residual smells. You, you've smelled Regalt before. You've been very close. It's very strong in this area. You smell, you know, what it can only be, you can only assume to be like the servant smells, but everything is stale. Nothing appears the French. fresh. Hmm. So Even though there was guests here before? Yeah, but you don't, nothing uh, seems to be fresh to the point okay. of active. You know, oh, you okay. don't smell okay. active very gotcha. much. Okay. Well, then we carefully open the door. And we die. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it, you, you pop out and you see what looks like. Uh, you see stairs heading down, and I will attempt to make this stupid fucker work for me. And you see two additional doorways that are leaving, or three that are leaving out, leading out of this area. Mm. Um, I th I think we clear this floor, perhaps. Yes, I believe the safest. Yes, make sure we check. We're just gonna clear the floor before we go yeah. down. Okay. First door uh, on the right. First door on the right. As okay, we're going so, downward, yeah. Gotcha. So as you guys um, walk into the first door on the right, you see a an additional bedroom. It appears to be a guest room of sorts. Yeah. Um, it also looks as if it has not been used for quite some time. It's probably right. you. Close the door back behind us. Mm -hmm. Second door. Okay. Right. Okay, when you get into the second door on the right, it is an identical bedroom. It yeah. seems to, once again, not be something that has been used very All right. much. Straight close, ahead. Close the door back behind us, and then the third door. Okay, so you're just going to pop into the next room, and as you pop in... Oh, it, here it goes. As you pop in, you see <laughs> your sex. good friend. Sex. Yes, it's everywhere. Sex. Sex. Um, sex. I saw. I, I saw thought you said sex. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sex and snacks. It's the same thing. Um, <laughs> sorry. Both delicious in different ways. So as you open the door, you see oh, your it. old friend, the skinless Pope as he creaks and turns the lacquer that has been applied to his neck cracks and splinters in a white almost like waxy uh splintering or peeling 
as it turns and looks at you, the shepherd's hook that it had in its hand uh, turns and levels in your direction. Let's skip back outside Close to the Etienne. Door. Yeah. Close the door. <laughs> Let's skip back outside to Etienne, Michelle, and the Sarge to see what the what are you guys doing as you see. All right. So what I'm thinking is we will probably. Right, you're going to do the bow. I will probably wash from here, and then, or I could, you know what? I can get on the roof, and then I maybe from the roof, I can then look down into the chimney and pretend to be the mate there, and then. Do you do you have your long rifle hand? Could have perhaps. I only have a pistol. Only the pistol hand, okay. Yes. Right. Why are you still wearing the outfit, Michelle? Is my question that I have for you. We are there's no one inside. It is just for you at this point, I think. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I could leave that, maybe. Okay. I mean, you Sorry. may wear it still now. I don't see a reason to not wear it. If you're I, already down here. I don't. Wait, I mean, I'm just. I'm, I'm just questioning why it is happening. Oh, I wouldn't. Anyway. I wouldn't question it. <clears throat> but as I was saying, Guillaume, that would be a great. Oh, um, that the place. Wait, where is Guillaume? Guillaume and Bot and, and Martin as well have left us. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Well. Um, well, we should probably do this then. Why don't I stay a year? Well, I think that uh, Guillaume was a was the primary component of the tunnel. Uh, well, then I will I will do the Guillaume, the Guillaume job. Tunnel. Then you okay. do the tunneling. Okay, you have your shovel hand in that case. All okay. right. Good. I will wait here. It's a trial. It's more like a trial. That's fine. Shovel. Okay. Yes. Okay. Like a spade, if you will. Right. Well, let's not let's not call it flower spade. All right, let's uh, let's try to get them. Um, we... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just make our way there. All right, uh, <laughs> and let's just you know let's not do that. Let's not do the bug up. I could I could do it, but probably not as fast as uh, Guillaume. So um, we could either do the chimney or we go to the front door. I just go for the front door. You know? uh, Greg, are there windows in the front of the house? Uh, there are, but the windows on the first level uh, have, they're not necessarily bars, but they're reinforced iron panes that are going through with like leaded glass in them. They okay. seem very sturdy. So they don't like, they don't slide open and like let a cool, stiff operation breeze in, no? No, they're, they're not, definitely not energy efficient or anything like that. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I guess we could blow the door up. I guess that seems inefficient as well. Perhaps we could shoot. Right. I want to shoot you with one hand. What was your idea with the rock? I throw it through the window. All right. And then we climb in. But it, it appears as though now I'm looking at it. Uh, it appears as though there are bars in there, and I cannot get to them. Oh. Right. Uh, well, well, maybe we can go to the door. <laughs> Well, I because assume I found... that Guillaume and Martin will open the door any minute now. They would be the first thing you do is go down to the door and open let your friends in. Are they, are they there? Why would, you, why would you think to expose the entire house when you can just go let your friends in? Because five right. people exploring the house is better than two. We should just wait. Why here. are we? But, but but we don't know they're there. They were here and now they're not here. Yes, well, I think she said something about jumping with her powerful legs because Michelle only had one powerful leg. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, if I knew this a while ago, then we would have been here. I don't know why you, I've been here trying to explain my thing, but you all knew that they were, they were there. Guillaume talks very quiet. I did not even hear him leave. And Martin never stops talking, and I, she was quiet for one time, and I did not hear her leave as well. Right. Well, well this we makes are. sense. All right, let's make, let's make our way to the front door, and we wait there. Okay. This is good plan. All right. I wish I knew that. And I fold up the, uh, I fold up the whiteboard. <laughs> I take the easel. <laughs> it's right. it's stowed. Uh, somehow it all fits in the hand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are able to cross the street, and you are not suspicious at all. The three of you are just hanging out in front of this house. War torn robes of soldiers. <laughs> yeah, it's two soldiers and a French maid. Bloodstained. We're, probably. Yeah. We're clearly <laughs> returning weird. his French maid, who he right. has lost. It's like a sheep. Hello, and I, like I have lost. Can I thought I could find my way back home? <laughs> Hello. Perfect. Hello. Salut. So <laughs> yep, that's it. We're standing on the porch waiting for our friends to let us in. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'd like all of you to roll listen checks for me, please. The the ones that you that are on the stoop just hanging out. Like, Joey. 
Hey. Nope. Spot hidden or listen? Listen. Listen. Uh, good. Well, this is... I hear something. Never a good one. Okay, so as the, the, the soldiers are uh, oh, diligently yes. watching nothing, the, all right, the uh, French maid uh, hears something upstairs, and it sounds very similar to the splintering of glass. And let's cut back upstairs as we have both Guillaume and uh, Martine that are staring down at the uh, skinless Pope. What decks do you guys all have? Uh, 75. 60. Okay, Guillaume, you get to act first here as the skinless Pope turns and creaks towards you. Hmm, I would like to slam the door close. <laughs> I like <Okay>. this plan. <laughs> okay, so the door slams uh, closed immediately as soon as the door, it's a very heavy door inside the, the apartments or rooms here of Dr. Regalt, Citizen Regalt. Uh, the door slams and immediately it shakes on its hinges as it begins to crack and give and a fist punches out through one of the kind of recessed platings in the door. And for a moment, you see the Pope kind of look through at all of you. And he says, here's Popey. And that's where we'll end tonight's episode. God. Wait, I didn't know the Pope could speak. Hold on. He can't, I was just ending it. So. Oh, I was like, hold on, we've got a whole other- oh, man. God damn it, Pope uh, every time. <sighs> well, my friends, that's what we're going to end tonight's session. Call of Cthulhu the Reign of Terror. Fuck. We made it. We've got like two two more episodes to survive. And then we have we have done it. That's all you we You almost need. killed yeah. me. I, hey, it wasn't my fault. Most Why likely. would you do this to me? It's exactly your fault. Well, that's how it went down. Michelle is so upset about it. He'll never forgive himself. <sighs> but He'll yeah. never touch another ghoul. Never touch another cool again. <laughs> How can I move on from your love? But, uh, Never yeah, gonna... gonna touch a cool. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna end it for tonight, my friends. If you enjoyed the show, let us know. Uh, if you haven't followed the show, hit the follow button to join us. Let's get around to cast and crew, though. Uh, great job tonight, everybody. Uh, at the start, Greg, <laughs> what did you... We fucking nailed it. Greg, what do you think about tonight's game? That was, uh, interesting. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, it was always, it's always fun to play with you guys. Uh, I got to be the Marquis de Sade tonight. So that was my enjoyment for the week. I'm done. Well done. Uh, if you want to see me not have fun for the rest of the week, uh, check me out on the other shows. <laughs> uh, um, just kidding. Uh, tomorrow night I am on web DMs for a little bit of Spelljammer action with Starward Bound. It's great. Uh, on Wednesdays, one to four, it's where it's at. Call of Cthulhu, Nameless Horrors. Uh, Wednesday evening, Unmade Gaming. That's Ming over there. I do a little City of Mist action. Uh, Saturday nights, Learn by Play on the D&D channel. And on my own channel, uh, Grimjack21502. Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern, little Pulp Cthulhu action. We also have a bonus episode this Saturday from 9 to whenever. Uh, fitting in another Olympian that we have joining the fray. It's fun. It's awesome. And this month, later this month, uh, on the channel, we are starting Firefly. Uh, Firefly RPG will be Friday afternoons from 2 to 4. Check us out. Have fun. Love playing with you guys. See you next week. Great stuff. Uh, let's start with Jules from Dungeon Drugs. Uh, yeah, I feel like Martine is the only one who semi came out of this unscathed tonight, thanks to a really good power roll. Uh, no, it was really fun. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Julia underscore Rosa and on Monday night's Dungeon Drunks releases new podcast episodes. Great stuff. Thanks so much, Jules. Uh, let's go to Biff. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, love, love the Marquis. Probably my favorite character ever. Uh, wish we could keep him. <laughs> yep. Uh, Cause that was so much fun. <laughs> I just was just watching the whole time. So like, this is great. This is great. Um, my name is Minthe Manic. I am a role player. <laughs> voice actor here on Twitch. I am playing GTA, a lot of GTA stuff right now, as well as I am so addicted to Sea of Thieves. It's 
disgusting. Uh, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash mythematic, or you can follow me on Twitter, which is also the same, mythematic. Uh, other than that, I won't be here next week, chat, uh, or others. I will be actually coming back from PAX East. So I'll be on a train and such. So uh, have fun. Shoot at anything that moves, Greg. And uh, we should <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you, Myth. Uh, Metamancer. Hi, guys. I'm Metamancer. I thought today's episode was super fun, even though I almost died to my, my best friend almost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no, it was fine. I knew it was going to happen because I already had really low HP. And I was like, I am so fucked if we have to hit each other. Oh, yep. Cools there we will go. be cool. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, it was fine. It was fine. Um, so that was super cool, and I really uh, loved Greg's RP. Uh, I tried to keep my face mo mostly serious, which some people called me out on in chat, so thanks for that. But it's because I have a really bad time trying to keep a straight face when I need to, so I'm practicing. And that was very hard to do. Nice. So, yes. Um, but you guys can find me um, on the show on Mondays. Uh, on Tuesdays, I am with uh, Unmade Gaming. Uh, on Thursdays, I'm on Not So Speedruns channel, and on Fridays now, I actually we just started a new Dark Heresy campaign on my channel. Uh, its first episode was last week, and it's super awesome and fun, and I'm very excited because I haven't played Warhammer Dark Heresy in like seven years, so yay! Um, and then I run my Call of Cthulhu campaign on Sundays. So if you follow me on Twitter at the Metamancer, it's like the easiest way to get up to date information on times and all that stuff. So, yay. Also, Dark Heresy is going to be out of publishment, so everybody get your books now. Great stuff. Dark Harris is fucking awesome. Uh, Mike! Yeah, I'm gonna see that. That's me! I'm Mike! Uh, Greg, that was something. Uh, <laughs> what it was, I don't have a fucking clue, but it was something for sure. <laughs> uh, and it is the weirdest shit because I watch the rest of you guys on, on streams. And I see Myth roleplay serious characters and Meta roleplay serious characters and Greg roleplay. And then Monday happens, it's a shit show. And it's the greatest <laughs> shit show on Twitch. Uh, we just throw everything out the window uh, and everything but the kitchen sink, including the kitchen sink sometimes, uh, gets thrown there. And it's an awesome, fun time. Uh, and as always, you guys can find me here every Monday for the foreseeable future and on Unmade Gaming. Uh, and you can follow us on Unmade Gaming on all of our social media for more tabletop goodness. Great stuff. Thank you, Mike. And that is all of us. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for dropping by today to watching some Reign of Terror. Uh, same time next week, uh, one p no, 4.30pm Eastern for uh, Reign of Terror. We've got two more episodes before we head on next season. Uh, oh, and in fact, I've got a, uh, I've got an announcement. I've got, uh, I said, promise you guys, if we wait till the end, I will play the video for the trailer before his Twitter tomorrow morning. So, uh, what is coming next season on Encounter Roleplay? We'll play it out uh, with Atomic Cthulhu. So, uh, ooh. ooh. But until then, my friends. That game. Oh, 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 oh. So, I tried to do too many that ones. We'll be a laughing when you do. Good night, everybody. Bye.